Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Good morning, jewelry makers! Woo! Bada, bada, bo, 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 How's everyone doing today? Yeah. On this Tuesday morning? Yeah, thanks. Still feels weird to be here on a Tuesday, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. That's quite... It's very, very nice, though. Two days, days, in, a row. Hey? Two days, Two days in, in a row. Fancy that. that I, mean, that's, I mean, that's, you know, don't, don't push it, Carol. Um, how is everyone doing? Hopefully, you're all keeping well. I missed a television programme last night, which I was absolutely gutted about, but I'm going to watch it tonight. SES Who Dares Wins. Apparently, it's just basically Aunt Middleton shouting at Katie Price, which I, I, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to watch that tonight, I think. We've got Michael J. Wolf on, um, Michael J. Wolf, he's on camera today, going for a green hoodie today. I think it's always been a green hoodie, apart from a, That's it. a green hoodie and a grey hoodie for work. Yeah. And it just covers me up. It just covers you up. Yeah. And you've got a lovely blue t-shirt on as well today. Yeah, and that again, it's one of three t-shirts. And what's on the t-shirt? Pineapples. Is it pineapples? Pineapples, um, Carol. Very nice. Yeah. Carol, half past eight, you've got a... <laughs> Michael's mystery box. Coming up. There's 58 of them. I can't wait. They're from Burma. Whoa! I can't wait. Um, we've got senior... Senior producer, Tom Stewart, he's in the producing chair today. Look at him in his lovely mustard. Is oh, he mustard? Oh, oh, oh he's oh, oh, mustard. Oh, oh. Isn't that, isn't that what, how, how Bricktop um, uh, describes, um, uh, what's his name? Bricktop describes, um, oh, what was the boxer? Shame. The boxer. Handsome George, I think. Well, age mastered. Uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, we've got Tom with us today. We've also got production manager Ollie. Ollie, who's been busy with his bowls. Haven't you? No, not as in b green, you know, you know, you know bowl b that you play on a green. No, he's nowhere near that cool. Uh, we're talking about polymer clay bowls. You never seen me, right? Coming up on Friday with concrete. Whoosh, amazing. We've got Neary on floor today. Good morning, Neary. Good morning. Neary, 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 Neary. What? Neary, 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 So we're very excited. We've got loads coming up today. This is your deal of the day. We're joined by guest designer Fleur in the nine o'clock act. She's awake, apparently. <laughs> well, there we go. Um, you've got your naughty do it all tool. Amaze balls. Uh, you've got your incredible uh, cord. You've got your pegs and all that kind of stuff to put in your naughty do it all tool. It's amazing. Hopefully, Fleur will have her naughty do it all tool out and uh, ready to show us today. Um, you've got the pegs to go with it. You've got the DVD. You've got the Eslon. Uh, but that's not it. As you can see on that photograph, you're also going to be getting all of that wire. That's all right, Michael. Don't worry. All of this wire and all of those gemstones and a pair and, and a uh, pack of oh no that's for friday a pack of sorry that's for that's for friday here we go and a pack of silver plated base metal findings as well so all of that as well there you go all of that as well is part of your deal of the day 
Ho! Amazing. Gorgeous. That's where the findings are, Tom. That's what that little random bag is in the photograph. That's with the silver-plated base metal finder. Someone couldn't just be bothered to take them out of the bag there. Highlighting a few holes that we might be having on... Uh, Shall we do a Last of Stock Jadeite showcase? Oh my gosh, seriously? Seriously. Here we go. Amazing faceted rectangles. You're going to make a what? You're going to make a cactus this afternoon. Out of what? Polymer clay. Um, you've, given me, uh, you've given me an ice cream one. Have you not got the panda one? You've got no panda. You've got bacon and eggs, have you, Ollie? I'd like, I'd, I would like the panda. I think my kids will make quite comedy pandas. Yes, please. Because they love, they love Poe in um, Kung, Kung Fu Panda. Amazing. You've never seen Kung Fu Panda. Oh, my gosh. There's three movies. It's amazing. It's amazing. Burmese multicolored jadeite. <laughs> Burmese multicolor jadeite faceted rectangles. Check out this incredible color. Um, if you know your jadeite, you will know uh, just what an amazing gemstone this is. It is seen as a powerful, all powerful gemstone. You've got here the most amazing gem, which so many people have got such faith attached to. It is absolutely gorgeous. The quality you've got is amazing. Um, you've got something here of such beauty of such importance to so many people. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, gold has a price. Jadeite is priceless. Wow! And there are stories um, and, you know, actual factual events of, 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 um, of ancient Chinese aristocracy being buried in suits of jadeite sewn together by solid gold thread. And when those tombs were raided, the um, solid gold thread was left, the jadeite was stolen. It's amazing. We love it here at Jewelry Maker. And a lot of people believe that this incredible gemstone helps you bridge the gap between this world and the spiritual world, making us all more more enlightened, making us all um, uh, operate at a higher state of consciousness, apparently. It is only myth and legend, um, you know, I, you, you read into it what you want to read into it, but if you go to the Far East, you will find Buddhas, you will find dragons, all carved out of this absolutely amazing gemstone. I love it. This is natural Burmese jadeite, obviously all the way from Burma, Margaret, Joe, Norma, loads of people coming through for that. Here we go. If you want to send your pet photographs in today, please do. Studio at jewelrymaker.com. Woo! Or what you're having for Brecky? Michael's got his overnight out just waiting, just waiting there. I forgot about them, to be honest. Hmm? Oh, baby. Oh, what have we got there? We've got overnight oats. With, oh, that's raspberries on there. Raspberries and blueberries on there. And cranberries. And cranberries. And strawberries. And strawberries. And pumpkin seeds. And pumpkin seeds. And, and flax seeds. And flax seeds. Chia seeds. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, they're getting your teeth, though, cheer seeds, though, don't they? Not after they're soaked a bit. Not after the what? The soaking bit? Not after you soak them. Oh, OK. They're, just, they're blue nut. Anyway, uh, 29.95 for your gorgeous ovals of uh, Burmese jadeite. Sharon, Melanie. There's no pandas. Yeah. Watermelon, I think. I don't know. I mean, what, I mean, what would you go for, guys? I mean, what do you think a four-year-old and a six-year-old would like to work with? Probably an ice cream one. Okay, I'll just, I'll just keep what I've got. I'll keep what I've got. Seventeen ninety-five for your Burmese jade puffy ovals. They <laughs> got these gorgeous polymer. Which one are you going to work with, Michael? Hamburger. You got a hamburger. Yeah. Have you really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Well done, Kim, Margaret, Sharon, Melanie, Elaine, Joe. Well done to you. I'd prefer to have the hamburger, actually, but don't worry about oh. it. <laughs> now we've got... No, no, it's fine. Honestly, don't worry about it. Uh, so, Burmese multicolour jadeite cylinders. This is what I would make... This is what I would make my, um, my uh, Marla necklaces using. It's absolutely gorgeous. Of course, you can make your Marla necklaces on the Naughty Do It All tour we've got coming up as your deal of the day. One chance available. Here we go, my lovelies. Over 400 carats of your gorgeous natural Burmese jadeite. Fleur's getting a Naughty Do It All board out for 11 a.m. Very exciting times. 34.95. Oh, baby. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? 
<gasps> oh, wow. One chance available. Oh, Margaret, it looks like you're going to get it. We've got Last in Stock Amber coming up in the 12, just to let you know. They had some Amber on Sunday, didn't they? And, it, and, and it, by the looks of it, it all sold out. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. He's very excited. <laughs> Michael's very excited, aren't you, Michael? <laughs> you don't go, don't go doing anything before your mystery boxer. Don't go disappearing, love. Well done. 270 carats of your Burmese Jade Eye Puffy Squares. Should be 44.95. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. You could bezel around this with seed beads. You could claw set it. You could set it with your lovely gallery wire. 44.95. Here we go. Amazing. Oh, Neary's, Neary's, oh, Neary's snowed under. Maybe go easy on the emails that you're sending in with the pets. You want the pets. £16.22. £16.22. Elaine, Eileen, Lynn, Margaret. Oh, amazing. Michaela, well done to you, my darling. Kate, well done to you. Good hint, Michael. Can't wait for your mystery box, says Liz. I've got no hair to bounce here. This is Liz who lives in the very nice house in Kent that she sent us a photograph of yesterday. There we go. Uh, Danuta, morning all. Could you wish my little girl Sky a lovely third birthday? She's a little sad because we can't see our family, but you are her fa fave TV lady. <gasps> oh, happy. Okay, ready? Happy, okay, so her name's Sky. She's three. You ready, Michael? Yeah. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sky. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. But um, bum, bum. Happy birthday, my love. Michael, stop showing me the lumps in your, in your, in your overnight oats, mate. I don't want to see that lump. What is that? What was that? A strawberry? <laughs> you swallowed that hole? Yeah. That's disgusting. Right. Here we go. Burmese Jadeite Puffy Cot. Happy birthday, my darling Sky. I know. Pippa, my four-year-old, she's going to be five and she's going to be in isolation too. I'm going to be 26 and I'm, you know, going to be in isolation as well. 14 95 for your Burmese Jade Out Puffy Coin. It's got a drill hole as well. So if you want to use that, you absolutely can do. Pop it on. Pop it on the head bin. Uh, you could, if you want it, make a lovely ring. <gasps> Bezel around it with seed beads. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Or you could put it maybe in the middle of a bracelet. You could uh, claw set it if you want to. 14.95. Angela and Eileen, well done to you, my lovelies. And Melanie in Norfolk, well done to you. Under 15 pounds. Well done, my lovelies. Absolutely gorgeous. And beautiful quality of uh, jadeite, all of these. And they've got beautiful patinations going through them. Character. It is very, very beautiful. Why, what's next? Burmese Jada Puffy Pears. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a lovely omelette this morning. I had a two egg omelette with uh, spinach in. Very, very nice. And a barocca and a coffee. And I watched my husband and my kids play with uh, Watson the puppy. It was very nice whilst I was shoveling my breakfast. I've got to go! Anyway, uh, so here we go. Beautiful quality. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? <gasps> Amazing. Burmese Jade Out Puffy Pears. Now, these have got the most beautiful teardrop shape to them. $29.95. What a great deal. We can do prices for Jade Out, which literally no one else can do. It's amazing. $12.95 is your price point today. These are last in stock jadeites you're getting here. All these items, by the way, are part of the Breakfast Club show, which means they're available for an hour after they've been played or until they sell out. No, there you are. Done it. Let's see. Mm. 
There we go. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Inclusions going all the way through there. Amazing. Gorgeous. Burmese multicolour jade and faceted rectangles. $29.95. Look at that. I love these. Um, they've got such lovely shape to them. They've got such lovely form to them. Quite often, jade that's quite an, can be quite an organic shape, and it's nice to see such an organic gemstone, I think, in, in, in quite a regimented shape. Beautiful quality, isn't it? Well done. $29.95. Um, looking amazing today. Well done, my lovelies. 265 carats of your Burmese multicolour jadeite faceted rectangles. Woo! Woo! You're right, Michael. If you recovered from the... Uh, the whole strawberry that you've just necked. I don't think I'm going to record for that for about you know, half a day. <laughs> ah, Burmese showed up puffy coins. 15 mil in size. One. Oh, no. You have what? Rice Krispies, a banana, a yogurt, a coffee, and a barocca. Rice Krispies, are you eight? Who has rice? What grown up has Rice Krispies? <gasps> Neary likes golden balls. What are they? David Beckham. Golden Nuggets, yes, that's definitely uh, David Beckham. My, my, my favourite cereal, if I could eat a certain cereal every day and not, and not have my teeth fall out, um, would be Golden Graham's. Cinnamon. Mm. Mm. Probably my favourite cereal ever. But they're so bad for you. Send us your breakfast. Let us know what you're having. Email studio at jewelrymaker.com. Uh, send us a photograph of your brekkie. What's that one? Uh, is it called Crave? Where you get the? It's got chocolate on the inside. I've, I've never had that, but yeah, it looks it looks good. Boring. Really? What about crunchy nut cornflakes? Quite nice, aren't they? I mean, I could eat a whole box of them. They're very, very Moorish. Uh, morning, lovely Carol, Michael, Tom, Ollie, and Tom. Uh, Naughty do it all. Yay! I need one. Well, Annette, today's your lucky day, my darling, because 11 a.m. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's, it's there. there. So, <laughs> Jackie says, morning, Carol and team. Up early to watch you. Early? Um, you put a smile on my face. So funny, Carol. Wow. Well, they, I am a comedy presenter. Um, not as comedy as my husband yesterday, who decided to um, ride around um, on my four-year-old's bike, and he looked like a clown. You know, when you see like monkeys on bikes and clowns on bikes, it's just hilarious. Yep. Here we go. Is it got hot in here? I am wearing a jumper today. Probably, I'm probably wearing, wearing, the wrong, uh, wearing the wrong outfit today, I think. Wearing a jumper and boots and jeans. It's just, yeah, you know. <laughs> Burmese multicolour jadeite faceted pears. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. Look at this one here. It looks kind of ombre Can you see that? It looks like Mordor. Like Saren? 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 Saren. Saren. Do you know what? I'm kind of glad that none of us know. <laughs> oh, it's actually pronounced this. Oh, let me get my Lord of the Rings like dictionary Aaron. out. Sauron. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that like malt loaf? <laughs> A saurine. The eye of... What is this? The colour you are getting here is amazing. Lavender jadeite, 12 millimetre. How many do we have of this bad boy? Eight. Okay, so let me just, just, just humor me a second. Two, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four. Thirty-four. You will need to get, I reckon, four of these strands, and you can make your own Marla style necklace. A Marla necklace has around about 108 beads in it, there or thereabouts, if you want to make a traditional one. You don't have to make a traditional one, you can just make a Marla style necklace, but amazing. 500 carats, 129.95. Lavender jadeite, 12 mil rounds. Let's go down even lower. 29. 95 is your deal. 
Lavender jadeite, one of the rarest varieties of jadeite in the world. Neil and Linda, Tatiana, Eileen, Suzanne, Angela, Neil. Well done, my lovelies. Collector in Gloucestershire. Well done to you. Susan in Yorkshire. Suzanne in Yorkshire's got four of those bad boys. She's clearly going to be making a Marlisar necklace. Nikki, hi, Carol, Michael, Tom, Ollie, and Neary. I had yogurt. There we go. AD, my hubby, had three Weetabix. Usually he has Rice Krispies. I don't get, I don't get why Rice Krispies for me, I mean, and, and it is horses for courses. Rice Krispies is the most unsatisfying cereal to eat. It just disintegrates to nothing. I'd, I mean, cornflakes, I'd put cornflakes into the same bracket, but shreddies, shreddies, I think maybe, or maybe Weetabix. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. I'm no, I'm no cereal expert, but there we go. Right, what have we got coming up next? Oh, oh, mate, what are you doing? Orange, that's what we've got coming up. <clears throat> <clears throat> Away you go. Karen. Start, start singing. Mystery box, box. mystery box. <laughs> What's inside my mystery box? Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside my mystery box? Woo! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Michael's Mystery Box. Now, before we start, can I please wish my little brother Jake uh, an amazing uh, happy birthday? How old, how old is he? 29 years old. He was actually, um, he's actually one week short of being 10 years younger than me. So, uh, yeah, lucky Jake. But yeah, have a great day inside. No presents for anyone, unfortunately. And it's my birthday next week. Oh, Yay! Tuesday. Next Tuesday! Yay. 10 years older than Jake. You do the math. So, I've been getting more and more cheeky with my mystery boxes. And you know what? It is working because uh, the past five have actually sold out. So, um, thank you guys for... You know, trusting in Michael Wolf. Don't be doing that. Let me just turn this down. Now, can I just say that I've been cheeky in the fact that uh, I've chosen something from Burma today. I think we all kind of know what it's going to be. But also, I've chosen something. The only thing I think in the in the J Light hour, J Light hour, the J Light start um, that has quantity. This has got about 60 uh, different amounts here. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, Tom. We've got Burmese jadeite, and what's so different? Oh. What's so different about this actual piece of jadeite <laughs> is the drill hole. Look where it goes. It goes. Take your gloves on. Take your gloves off. On the top. Oh, hang on, hang on. Sorry. There you go. Have a look. Look at this. So far, all the jadeite we've actually sold, the drill hole has gone through the center. Now, this one here is perfect for a pendant. It's a pendant style. It's 30 carats of jadeite. Now, this will be absolutely perfect to finish off um, a lovely uh, necklace, um, a necklace of jadeite. Uh, what else goes with jadeite? Uh, pearls as well, pearl, pearl and jadeite. We've got multi wires coming in straight away. I don't know why, because I'm stumbling over my words. The code is DTKY98. Remember, this... Sometimes we kind of forget about this. An actual piece of Burma. Absolutely unbelievable. It's a puffy rectangle. We've got 60 and now we've got 30 left. Half of the stock has gone. We've got Joe from Hampshire. You've bought three. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Hang on. What's going on? The price is £6.95. So far to check out because I'll wait um, to, to tell it to speak to everyone who's checked out so far. Again, I'm stumbling over words. It's so, so early. Diane, Eileen, Jennifer, Stella, Sheila, Patricia, Julia, you all need to come in. Those of you who have come in for one, just come in and get two. Why not? We've got um, multi-buyers in Devon, uh, Yorkshire, Hampshire, Yorkshire again, Surrey uh, and Gloucestershire. This is ready to sell out right now. Let's show you that straight away. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say away or... Oh. DTKY98, that's a code for this lovely Burmese jade eight. J jade eight. <laughs> that, that doesn't rhyme, does it? £6.95p. And you know what? This is the perfect um, item on today's show to open your baskets up. It's £6.95p. So what's that? Just over £10. And you've got this. If it's your first buy today or ever on Jewelry Maker, you get a How to Get Started Jewelry Making DVD. If you're new to Jewelry Making, you can use that yourself. If you're not, give it to a friend. Pass it on, carry it forward. Let them discover the amazing um, genre of jewellery making. This is going to sell out now. Is it sold out? Is it sold out? Boom. Oh. See you in a bit. Oh, four and a half hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got four and a half hours to go. 
We got four and a half hours to go. If you let me go, somebody said, let me go. Right. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? I keep on stum I keep on wrapping the words and stumbling over them. I'll get there, surely. Hang on. Very warm. Hot cheeks. Hot cheeks. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Purple jadeite. You're right, love. Oh! I am there. tight. Purple jadeite, plain trillions. Amazing message from Michael. Ah. Got mine, thank you, Michael. Beautiful mystery box. Uh, I'm hiding mine. Or my son will steal it. Well, there you go, Michaela. Hide that bad boy. You're welcome, Michaela. You're welcome. 64.95 for 75 carats of your gorgeous purple jadeite. Very, very rare. Absolutely gorgeous quality. 29.95. There you are, my lovelies. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Um, get involved in three different ways, either by calling us on our free phone number, 0800 644 5, getting involved on our website, jurymaker.com, or by getting involved on our app. Tap the app. Those overnight oat looks good. The overnight oat looks good. Um, I'm going to make overnight oats actually today. To have tomorrow morning. It's a good story, isn't it? Right, so, gold-plated sterling silver bolt ring clasp. Ah, the humble bolt ring clasp. What on earth am I going to do with this? Well, you're going you're gonna to connect things together. You're going to close your... You're going to close your, close your necklace, close your bracelet by using one of these. This is all yellow gold plated sterling silver. You're getting 10 of your bolt ring clasps here. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is absolutely what I would do with my jadeite. I would use my sterling, sorry, my precious metal plated, uh, so yellow gold plated sterling silver bolt ring clasps with my jadeite. I know, it's incredible. 4 95 is your deal today, my loves. Well done. Thank you very much, Tom, for putting that jadeite uh, selection together. Very, very appreciative of that. Tom is very good at putting little showcasey things together. Um, um, speaking of amazing mediums that um, uh, Michael was talking about, coming up on Friday, concrete, and maybe a cheeky little project which everyone here is getting involved with. Michael's involved with it, Ollie's involved with it, Tom's involved with it, I'm involved with it. Neri, are you, have you got one of the kits? Unfortunately, Neary's not here this weekend. Who do we have? Oh, I'd love to see what Paul Demers would make. Oh. Well, we're, well, we're going to be here, aren't we, gang? So we'll do it. Okay, here we go. So a pack of uh, gold-plated sterling silver eye pins. Amazing. Beautiful eye pins. Lovely. Um, Lovely, lovely um, uh, size, lovely length on these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful quality, gold-plated sterling silver eye pins. They're beautiful, aren't they? Um, 0.64 millimetre gauge wire you're going to be getting here. A pack of 30 in total. Now, obviously, if you're going to be making um, a oh, rosary link style piece, you're going to need to use, uh, and, and if you want to use a gold-plated sterling silver wire, which unfortunately we can't bring to you, this is going to be the only way that you can do it. Okay, so with gold-plated sterling silver eye pins, it's going to be the best way of producing um, a piece of jewellery that looks like this in precious metal, with your pearls, with your jade eye, you know, with whatever kind of high-quality gemstones you've got in your stash. Um, you're getting a pack of 30 of these today for £4.95. I would advise that you do multi-buy. If you can, please do. Collector in Dorset, Collector in London, Samantha, well done to you. Well done to Danny in Essex as well. Um, that, I mean, that could be Danny Dyer, couldn't it? All right, brava! Could be, or it could be Danny's daughter, Danny. Uh, well done, everyone. Um, come through and get these as soon as you can. You've all got an extended 30-day money-back guarantee until the end of June this year. That's how much we love you. Oh, goodness gracious me. Let's do the rose gold plated version now. 
So my kids have gone back to school today, as in, as in you know, virtually, not actually back at school, but they've gone back to school. Um, I don't know. All I know is that I spent a good hour and a half last night printing things off, getting them logged in and set up and all that kind of stuff, and I've just left my husband to it. We had to bring back the pom-pom jar as well. So every time they do something good, we put a pom-pom in the jar. And, you know, we're having to do all that kind of stuff. Because otherwise, he, he'll take a phone call, he'll come back, and, he, and they're meant to be doing work, and then they're playing with the Barbies or Sylvanian families. So that's, um, yeah, lack of concentration, I think. Anyway, rose gold-plated sterling silver eye pins. Here we go. Beautiful quality, four ninety five is your price point today. Well done. Thirty of your gorgeous eye pins. Well done, collector in Essex has got two loads. Well done, collector in Dorset. Well done to you as well. Fantastic. Well done at four pounds and ninety five pence. You're doing such a great job today. Well done, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, well done to you. Collector in Hertfordshire, well done to Collector in London. Alison in North Yorkshire as well. Loads of people coming through. Well done. Amazing. Just incredible. Well done. <clears throat> oh, Holly, you sound like you're going to be like the demon headmaster. They'll have a great day if they behave today. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> they better be good today then. The girls better be good. Um, yeah, I'd like a quiz, please, Michael. Are you going to be putting a quiz together? Are you, are you, where are you getting your questions from? Um, are they all going to be Michael Jackson and George Michael related? Excuse me. Or Greatest Showman related? What about Eddie Van Halen? Thank you very much. <laughs> or uh, Hugh Jackman <laughs> related? <laughs> yeah. Please, can we have some other questions? So I'll, I'll um, do half <laughs> myself and then I'll find half um, from the company. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Michael's going to do a quiz. Rose gold plated, sterling silver, bolt ring clasp, Selecciano. Ten of these in the pack. Amazing. Diane says, new to jewellery maker, totally hooked. Absolutely love watching you guys. You make me love so much my German shepherd puppies started barking. Send us a photograph, Diane. Okay, send us a photograph of your German <laughs> Shepherd puppies. Send it to studio at jewelrymaker.com, Diane. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying Jewelry Maker, darling. Send, your photo, send a photograph. No, don't send the dogs, because we've got nowhere to put them. Uh, and German Shepherds are quite, are, are quite big, aren't they? But send us a photograph of your German Shepherd puppies to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Send them in as an attachment. Ha be honest. Diane, has your puppy got one ear that's up and one ear like that? Because that's kind of, that tends to be what German Shepherds tend to do. And then they get the muscles to kind of get the ears like that. I love a German Shepherd. Do you know what I watched last night on the recommendation of my best friend? I watched the, um, the first two episodes of, oh, it's quite an old series. Uh, is it called Friday Night Dinner? Um... The first two series are quite funny. Oh, I don't know. I don't really. Oh, I don't really find it that funny. I mean, the dad's funny. The deaf dad's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite funny when they're trying to move the sofa bed. Um, it's not. I mean, it's quite obvious. I, I, I don't know. There are other. There are other series which I think are much much funnier. Like, um, oh, what was that amazing series? Um, no, Motherland. That, that's probably one of my favourite comedy series. I love that. Have you never seen Motherland? Oh, it's hilarious. It's really, really funny. Um, so, sterling silver bolt ring clasps. Uh, ten of these. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Three pounds and 95 pence. Gorgeous. Beautiful at three pounds out five pence. Collector in Dorset's got two. Collector in Hampshire's got five. Elaine, Barbara. The reason why I bought up that series is because of the neighbour. The neighbour has to keep on using the loo. He's really funny. And, and his big German shepherd dog called Wilson. He's very, very funny. He's very, very funny. Um, I like his character. Uh, well done to Elaine. Uh, collector in Dorset. Um, well done to Collector in London. Tony, well done to you as well. What was the, what, what was the series with um, Greg Davis, which is very funny, where Rick Mel plays his dad? Is it called Man Up? Oh, man Down, that's very, very funny. That's very, very funny. I like that too. Um, and then, uh, what was the series that um, I watched because of y you suggesting it, Ollie? It was um, These People Do Nothing or something. Pe people Just Do Nothing. That, 
That's quite funny. Modern, modern family, Ollie. Anyway, this country, no, I haven't watched it. It doesn't really look like my bag, to be fair. No, I don't know. Um, anyway, 3 95 Lynette, why don't you, Margaret, Tony, Dolny, Dolny. Uh, why don't you, my lovely Barbara, why don't you as well? Loads of people coming through. But there's, I mean, we are, aren't we lucky? I do like watching kind of old series. I've heard that, I've heard that all of the Father Ted um, uh, episodes are going to be on television soon. Yeah, well, anyway, aren't they? Are they? I love Father Ted. Yeah, I'm full, yeah. I love Father Ted. Anyway, a big what? So, sorry? Big night in on Thursday, what's that? A comedy special? No. On which, on which channel? Really? <gasps> There's a new Little Britain. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to watch that. I love Little Britain. Oh my god. Oh, I love Little Britain. Anyway, so sterling silver eye pins. Amazing. Um, sterling silver eye pins. Amazing. 30 of these. Gorgeous quality. Beautiful. Four ninety five. There you go. Amazing. Four ninety five. Barbara. One well to Elaine. One well to Carol. Loads of people coming through. Of course, if you're going to be doing your um, rosary link style pieces, absolutely perfect. If you're going to be doing your um, your um, linkages, your tassels, absolutely perfect as well. Four ninety five. Angela's got two loads. Collector Tony, Collector Annette, Carol. Loads of people coming through. Well done. We've got a, we've got an argument going on about whether um, Little Britain's any good or not. Uh, there's a few characters which I just can't bring myself to watch. Uh, but then there's other stuff which I love. Um, love Blackadder. But only, but only, but only, mm, not all the series, but um, anyway. Garnet. Yeah? Garnet graduated plain squares. Beautiful strand, Michael. That one's caught your eye, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Only one chance available, my lovelies. Here we go. One opportunity available. Here's your amazing prize point. Gorgeous. One chance available. Here's your incredible deal. Eighteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Oh yeah. Amazing. One chance available. 1895. Give us a call. Get involved. Well done. Caroline, you're interested. Collector in Hampshire, you're interested as well. You see, my husband loves Red Dwarf, and I like Red Dwarf, but I didn't watch it first time round. So I'll, I'll watch it and I'll enjoy it. My husband is Chris Barry, basically. Carol. Did you watch us here? Celebrity Tough Enough um, was back last night. No, I, I heard on the way in that it was on last night and I'm going to watch it tonight. Yeah, it's good. I'll watch that. Definitely. I mean, I love us here who dares wins anyway, but... Um, you know what I don't think gets enough kudos? I love that. Say again. You, you know what I don't think gets enough kudos? What doesn't get enough kudos, well, Michael? America. I love Frasier. You love Frasier? It was so very clever. It's clever writing. Clever writing. Yeah. Very, very good writing. Um... There's some good comedy out there. Um, you need to watch Motherland. It's very, very good. Mm. Here we go. Uh, Aquamarine Faster Drops. Oh, here we go. Uh, used to love a comedy called Green Wing. So funny. Do you mean Green Wing? I don't think you mean Green Wing. I think you mean... Um, what was the one with Zach Braff in? Scrubs. Green Wing's not... Was it funny? What's that? I don't remember Green Wing. No. Scrubs is very good. I like Scrubs. It was. It's very dated now. Already. Modern Family's very good. I've just started watching that. Modern Family's hilarious, isn't it? Uh, one chance available. Here we go. Uh, collector in London, one on to you. Brilliant. You've got that, my lovely. Well done. Oh, there we go. Well done, my love. It's gone, Tom. Collector in London's taking it. All right. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Ah, oh. and of course, a really good one with great writing, because it, there is no writing, really, is um, Outnumbered. Yeah. Well, the kids' scenes aren't, aren't, aren't scripted at all. Yeah, they just roll the camera. 
and they'd say, this is where we're starting, this is where we want you to get to by the end of the scene, just go. It's really good, I like it. Yes. Um, Andalusite from Andalusia. Uh, this is the most amazing gemstone. It is a... It is known as basically being the most pleochroic gemstone in the entire world. You've got greens, you've got reds at the same time. You don't need to alter the lighting state. You've got those colours which are apparent constantly in the gemstone. Um, it, it, let me show you. Can you see? Reds and greens at the same time. It's absolutely phenomenal. I love this gemstone. Such a different quality. Beautiful quality. Uh, should be 81.95. One chance available. Here we go! All the way down! 29.95. There you go. Scum! Oh gosh. We're going to do, in the next hour, we're going to be joined by Fleur, obviously, but we're also going to do the Wall of Fame. Get in there. We've got a Wall of Fame coming up, which we're very excited about. And Neri, the reason why I'm not doing it in this hour because Neri has got about 859,000 emails to sift through. And that's not even the pets. Oh! Hasn't even started the pets yet. Uh, purple garnet graduated faceted rondelles. One chance available, 64.95. Looking good, baby. Genuine purple garnet. We had some beautiful garnet on the show last uh, Thursday, didn't we, with Jake. Uh, 19 pounds, 95 pence. Brilliant for purple garnet. Genuine purple garnet is unbelievably rare. All the way from Mozambique. I've got a collector in Dorset. Maria, Caroline, well done to you. I've only got one chance available. It's gone. Caroline, well done. Caroline. Do you know that's my middle name? Yeah. Anne. Anne is my middle name. Carol, Caroline. <laughs> Carol, Caroline. Don't. I know, I know a guy called Michael Michael. That's weird, isn't it? Michael Michael. That's what my little niece used to call me. She couldn't say my uncle Michael. So she called me Michael Michael. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. Yeah. Michael Michael. Michael Michael Michael. Now she calls me uh, her favourite uncles. So. Her favourite uncle. Oh, well, of course. Yeah. yeah. I can understand why, Michael. I bet you are fun time Uncle Michael. Do you give them, do you, do you just wind them up? Oh, yeah. Play games. So, yeah. Give them sweets. On me links. Come on. Go on. Go on, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, loved getting, oh, loved getting it on by Joe Brand. Dark comedy. Very funny. Morning, by the way. Good morning, my lovely. Um, Joe Brand. She is funny, isn't she? Fleabag, anyone? Do you want a little fleabag? Fleabag, fleabag. Yeah. Very, very good writing. Very, very, very good writing. Phoebe Waller-Bridge is just amazing. I love her. Oh, and Killing... Is it, isn't Killing Eve back on soon? Yeah, it's back, yeah. <laughs> is it today? What? It's only two episodes. <laughs> Did it start on Monday? Did it start yesterday? That's me. So it's already started? Yes. <gasps> oh, so much to watch. Purple Garnet graduated... Plain. That's not purple garnet. Hang on. What? Oh. Phoebe Wallerbridge. Look at this. <gasps> Phoebe Wallerbridge has, has co-written the, the new um, James Bond, doesn't she? Look at this. <gasps> wow. This is gorgeous. One chance available. Purple Garnet Graduated Drops, 89.95. Oh, wow, will you look at that gorgeous clarity? That's beautiful. One chance, look at that. Oh. Gorgeous, one chance available. How is that only 14.95? I've got no idea. For such rarity. Beautiful, well done. Collector Beverly, Caroline, you're all interested. I've got one chance. Beverly's taking it. Well done, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Let's do now. Oh, hello. Zircon. Oh, where have I been? So Killing Eve's already started. And I say, who dares wins was on last night. Gee, where's one chance available, my lovelies? 
multicolour zircon. Look at those gorgeous colours. Beautiful canary yellows, beautiful kind of purpley reds as well. Oh, it's just stunning. Phenomenal. One chance available. $69.95. Here we go. Beautiful. Here we go, my loves. $49.95. There you are. For 40 carats of your multicolour zircon. That is gorgeous stuff, isn't it? Beautiful. Um, clarity that you're going to be getting here. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Well done. That's pretty much gone. Uh, I've got some gorgeous opal. Opal, 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 Black Ethiopian opal. Here we go. One available. This is the actual one you're going to be getting, Michael. This one here in my hands. This is the one you're going to be getting. 129.95 is where we should be. Do you think we're going to be staying there? <coughs> Let's go lower. Let's go lower. This is the actual strand you are going to be getting. Here we go. 49.95. How is that 50 quid? I know. Brilliant. And it's because these are last in stock deals. All of these items are only available for an hour after they've been played or until they sell out. That's how the Breakfast Club cookie crumbles. Let's go and see some of your incredible designs on today's Wall of Fame. everyone number 190 thank you michael number 190 this is from barbara morton hi recently received two free strands with my first order one strand was a lovely dendrite opal attached is a necklace i made with them with a little howlite added to it hope you like it love to all and keep safe and sound that's from lovely barbara thank you my darling so this so she got two free strands with her first order so she's a brand new customer. Brand new customer, it's Barbara. Brand new customer, it's Barbara. Brand new customer, it's Barbara. Da, da, da. Kelly, you're number 189. Kelly Wales from Gloucestershire. I made this bracelet, necklace and earring set from some pearls I had and one of your wedding sets. <whistles> I like that a lot. I like your background, you've got a telly in the kitchen. Get you, Kelly. That's awesome. Good for you, darling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Number 188. This is ridiculous work. Sent in by Julie. Hi there, everyone. Hope you're all staying safe during these strange times. I've been self-isolating and Jane has been my lifeline. Don't know what I would do without jewelry making to keep my sanity. My stash has been taken a my, sorry, my stash has taken a beating after I've been doing all those things I've been planning. I love your amber and have been growing my collection just for an occasion like this. Four wire work pendants using large nuggets. These are presents. Well, I need to decide which one to keep. A wire work bangle using a large centre drilled amber. And Ollie the Owl, based upon Rachel's Owl. Here I have used amber, jasper, black spinel, hematite, moonstone and tiger's eye. Thank you very much for your continued service during this trying time. It really is appreciated. Sending love and stay safe, Julie. Bless you, my darling. Beautiful work there. Oh! Gosh, 187. I've got two more. Here we go. This is from Lynn. I was inspired by Mark Stoma last week to make this set. He used 110 galvanized eggplant and 80 smoky amethyst from JM and a few crystals from my stash. Got too many projects running at once, uh, so keeping busy. Thank you for all being there and keeping us um, inspired. Be safe, Lynn. Thank you, lovely Lynn. And last but not least, number 186. Someone has been very busy. It's another Lynn, Lynn Timmins. Hi there, you lovely people at JM Studios. I thought I'd share my smile necklaces with you. I wanted to cheer up my neck neighbours, most of whom are isolating the same as me, it made me smile and now I know it's made them smile to receive them and it's making them smile to wear them. Everyone's smiling basically, Lynn. Um, I used the colourful agates I bought a couple of weeks ago and only wish I could have afforded some more. I do have a few left to make more people happy. S keep safe, all of you. Love Lynn Timmins. I have to say, all of you, beautiful jewellery, amazing. Thank you very, very much for entering the Wall of Fame. Uh, we are slowly sifting through all of the Wall of Fame entries that we've had. Um, over the last few weeks here on Jewelry Maker, but it's great to be back. Don't go anywhere. After the break, we're going to be joined by Fleur. We've got her first kits. We've got a demo. Don't forget the Naughty Do It All coming up at 11 o'clock as well. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a couple of seconds.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's gemstone investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. This Tuesday on Jewelry Maker, the deal of the day is phenomenal. Have a look at everything you're getting. The Naughty Do It All tool, and the Naughty Do It All tool comes with all the things that usually comes with, the DVD, the full instructions, etc. but so much more. A plethora of wire, champagne gold, silver and copper to name a few. These are just some of the strands that you're getting. I'm seeing varicite, agate, clear quartz and more. You've got some fabulous cords in all different colours and so much more loads and loads of findings so tune in on tuesday here on jewelry maker this is your deal of the day don't want to miss a jewelry maker show then download our app for android and apple devices by searching jewelry maker in your relevant app store stay with jewelry maker wherever you go don't miss out on our amazing deals inspiration demonstrations and of course all the fun create wear share on the go with jewelry maker Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. 
Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, everyone. How's everyone doing this morning? Oh, my word. What an amazing hour that was. That was loads of fun. We had loads of gorgeous jadeite. Have a quick look on our website, jewelrymaker.com, and see what we've got left. All items in the 8 o'clock hour are available for an hour after they've been played or until they sell out. Mark Jackson, give it up for Mark Jackson, everyone. There he is. Mark Jackson, RMD, in here during the break, cleaning everything down. He's a maniac, maniac on the floor. Anyway, um, how is everyone doing? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Michael. <gasps> oh, mate, that is just too much. Anyway, um, we have got the most amazing deal of the day. We've got the most amazing Naughty Do It All deal of the day. We've got the Naughty Do It All, uh, the DVD to go with it, all the pegs. You've got all the Eslon. You've got all the gemstones and the wire and some findings as well. That is your deal of the day. Amazing. But now we are joined by the amazing guest designer, Fleur Hasty. Da -da 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 -da. There she is. <laughs> Hello. You okay? Do you know what, Fleur? Um, judging by your Facebook posts, I was expecting to see a shadow of the woman I know. Uh, but in actual fact, you look really good. I've been up since half past five. Have you? Oh, no. Why? What have you been doing? Pla plastering on makeup to try and make <laughs> myself look a bit better and disguise my natural hair colour. I was going to say, did you get the trowel out and everything? Literally just, oh, it's bad, is it? My roots are terrible <laughs> at the minute, Fleur. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, anyway, how have you been coping in um, isolation, lovely? Yeah, it's been all right. Um, we've all gone a bit feral, but it doesn't matter. I loved yeah, your post. I've, um, I've resigned from my teaching job. Well, this is it. So who's teaching the kids now? My husband. Well, this is it, Fleur, because is he actually teaching them? Because I saw a post on Facebook which involved your... Was it... Who was it? Was it Marcus who was meant to be reading to Mark? Uh, who, 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 was, who, who was meant to be... Um, who was meant to be reading to him? He, he, my husband, when he, was, when he fell asleep in the garden. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he was supposed to be looking after them and they disappeared, one onto a, a game and one was watching YouTube and yeah, he was fast asleep in the garden. Great. Just great. <laughs> Which basically means you just can't leave them for five minutes, doesn't it? No. They're doing Joe Wicks at the minute, apparently. I bet they're not. Amazing. Um, great. Well, we have got... Sorry, I've got Ollie. Oh, Ollie, you're being very rude. Stop it, please. Thank you. Stop it. We have. Oh. Yeah. Fleur looks really good. Yeah, she looks yeah. really good. She looks really good. Isolation <laughs> suits you. Hmm. Mm? It, it, it must be my. It must be my grey roots that are doing it. No, you don't have. I can't see any rootage at all. You look great. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm, um, I've gone back to my natural colour, which apparently is now grey. <laughs> Amazing. Isn't that just great? Just to add insult to injury. Uh, yeah. Now, we've got a really exciting show today because, of course, we've got the Naughty Do It All tool um, as the deal of the day. You know, the big bundle that we did with the Eslon, the DVD, the, um, the little uh, bag with all the pegs in. So you've got the tool as well. And you've got wire and a load of gemstones and silver-plated base metal findings as well. Um, the Naughty Do It All tool has been revolutionary for you, hasn't it, Fleur? <laughs> It has, yeah. It really has helped me sort of like master some techniques that I, I used to struggle with before um, and open up doors to whole new mediums that I never thought I would be like making. 
Absolutely. Um, everything from macrame to making your mala style necklaces, it's just a brilliant, brilliant tool and something which I think at this time when we're all kind of um, uh, living together and when we've got our kids home uh, more, more than we normally do, um, yeah. I think it's a great, a great way to uh, kind of get those creative juices going, isn't it? And to get everybody into um, um, using this incredible tool. Yeah, and it's a really nice way as well, like I said, of getting the kids involved. If you've got kids in your household, that they can make things for their friends as well. Because obviously they're missing their friends as yeah. well as, you know, we're missing, like, obviously, sitting next door to each other, Aww. Carol, talking about gemstones. I know, I miss you, love. <laughs> um, so that's coming up at 11. The kit that you've been given here is mm. absolutely gorgeous, Fleur. It, it, honestly, this, this kit really stumped me for quite a while. I was looking at it thinking, I don't know what to make with it. And all of a sudden, I was like, well, I could really do something quite like out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And, and I did. And it, I absolutely love the piece of jewellery that I made. But the kit is so versatile. Please excuse the name of the kit, which is Two Yachts to Trot. <laughs> I I really what, I I look at these mean? kits. The kits are wonderful. Who? Two yachts to trot. I I, I I I would not have called it two yacht to trot. I would have called it. I don't know. We do, we've, got, we've got to address this, guys. You can't go around... Call, I mean, that is just the weirdest name for a kit. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, put that to one side. It's a good job. It's a good-looking kit, isn't it? Um, so you've got here Amazonite 4 mil rounds, Chrysocola 4 mil rounds, Labradorite 4 mil rounds, um, and they're in this lovely pumpkin shape, so a slightly kind of squashed round shape. And then silver sparkle nylon thread, which is absolutely gorgeous. It goes with all of these gemstone strands absolutely beautifully. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kit. I can't wait to see what you've made, Fleur, because yeah, as we say, this is so outside what I would normally see you work with. What have you made? So this is what I've made. So I've made a crochet necklace with a tassel oh my gosh but i don't know if i can catch it in the sunlight because <gasps> the, the the um labradorite are so sparkly oh flair. It okay so you can see it's it's like so i've done about i've done six strands of just simple um chain stitch crochet chain stitch but can you see that labradorite it yeah. really is the most sparkly, beautiful oh. gemstone. And the, and the chrysocolla, and, I mean, and the, the tassel. The, the tassel, did you make that on the Naughty Do It All? I made it on the Naughty Do It All, yeah. Real. That's a lovely tassel you've got there. Ooh. It's beautiful, isn't it? And this nylon cord is really nice because when it starts to split at the bottom, it goes into like lots of different, like almost like little angel hairs. So it oh. really does. Oh, I've got the sunlight on me again. Um, it really does sort of like, make a really beautiful tassel yeah absolutely i totally totally get that it is the most gorgeous gorgeous kit this one how lovely what gorgeous jewelry and i have to say great jewelry for this time of year it's a little bit lighter and and uh, these kind of tones as well i think they will suit absolutely everybody you've got these really gorgeous complementing greens and blues and silvers it's just a great great kit they're all four mil rounds that you're going to be getting here so if you are into using gemstones in your seed bead work as well then these are absolutely perfect because they've got that lovely kind of seed bead size on them haven't they they're just gorgeous um the um the sorry the chrysocolla no, are the, the colors on the chrysocolla are absolutely stunning yeah now chrysocolla can sometimes be um a little bit brown what's so nice about mm. this is you've got the most gorgeous bright azure blues turquoise blues i mean there's some gorgeous greens in there as well it's a really really lovely strand i tell you what it reminds me it reminds me of some of the multicolor jadeites that we do i know i know mm. the colors are much more intense than some of the multicolor jadeites but it really does remind me of that kind of palette you've got such a wonderful variety of tones in there haven't you um 
Now, price point wise today, I'll be honest with you, Flip, I've got no idea how low this is going to go because, of course, you've got three quite unusual strands here and you've got this nylon cord, which I don't think I've ever done before. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff. All the way down. Oh, there you go. Brilliant. Under £20 for you today. £19.95. That is great, isn't it? What a fantastic deal, Fleur. That is, it's a real, because those gemstone strands, I mean, look, we always um, talk about the size of gemstones and the smaller the gemstone, obviously the, the more difficult it is to cut as well, especially one being a pumpkin cut. Yeah. So to get all three strands for that price, plus that gorgeous um, silver nylon cord is just amazing. It really, really is. Yeah, they're really, really great examples of the gemstones. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just kind of unfurling this, this cord so I can show what you know. As as you've said, mm. how beautifully. Um, but, but, but well, because it's a sparkly kind of metallic coated cord, it's got. Um, I, I can imagine when you tie knots in it, when you when you do your crochet with it, those those knots will and those stitches will stick, won't they? Because it's kind of yeah. got a little bit of a metallic element in there, hasn't it? It has, yeah. So, like you say, uh, the only thing I did find is some of the beads didn't go onto the actual cord. That's why I use the cord as um, the tassel. Yeah. But you would be able to make a beautiful macrame bracelet with accenting gemstones on there as well. Oh, yeah. But, yes. I mean, the only thing that I've used in addition to, you know, to actually make the necklace is just some beading thread, which the majority of us have quite a lot of beading thread. So I Definitely. just thought it'd be really nice to, to show these gemstones Gorgeous. in a different way. I've only got 71 of this kit. I've got a few multi bidders, very, very popular kits. Lots and lots of people coming through to get this. Massive congratulations to everybody. Great examples of all three of these gemstones. And of course, you've got your gorgeous silver sparkly nylon cord as well. And of course, it fits in beautifully with today's amazing deal of the day, which of course is the Naughty Do It All bundle that we've got mm -hmm. coming up. Because of course, to make the tassels to make your macrame bracelets to do all sorts of those um yep. lovely kind of knotting techniques um you've got um you've got the ideal kit to use alongside the knotty do it all board haven't you you definitely have you definitely have i think with both kits because i'm um, the, the second kit as well i've done sort of like a, a tin cup station necklace so you can use your knotty do it all Gorgeous. to actually um space out those beads yeah, and and you know this is interesting. If you if you if you're not aware, guest designer Fleur um, um, has got many different um, uh, many different mediums that she loves to work in. You're not somebody who I would say is very reliant on using kind of gimmicky tools, which is why this is why this is such a fantastic tool because it really does mean so much to you, doesn't it? It really has changed the way that you make jewellery so much, hasn't it? It really does, and it, it eliminates so many different tools from your from your, your, your craft room or where you're working on your yes. dining room table. You know, because you, it, it's like like six, seven tools all in one, and yeah. it's so portable, so versatile, and it's it's a really great piece of kit. And I'm still learning different things to use with, uh, that I can make with it as well. Yeah, and also, I mean, you get the DVD with it. Uh, don't forget, this is coming up at 11 o'clock, everyone. Um, you get the DVD with it, but I should imagine if you go on Instagram or you go on Pinterest, there mm. are hundreds, thousands, or even on YouTube, there'll be lots and lots of yeah. different um, uh, designs on there and huge amounts of inspiration. Um, and, and even uh, the website as well, the Not To Do It All website as well, which has, got, um, which has got lots and lots of inspiration on there as well. So you're never going to be stuck, are you? You're constantly going to be inspired. Inspired. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do, Fleur, what we're going to do is we're going to say goodbye to you now. We're yeah. going to get you back. Uh, we're going to show your uh, demo. We're going to get you back at 11 for the deal of mm -hmm. the day. Um, is that all right? It's no problem at all. Yeah. Tell I'm going to get, I'm working on a kit for Sunday, so I'll just be sat here watching. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, that. Oh, that's going to be really, really nice. So we'll, so we'll see you a bit later on. We'll see you at 11, okay. lovely. Okay. Th thank you so much, darling. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm. See you in a bit. Isn't she awesome? She's amazing. Now, um, Fleur is a fantastic teacher. I don't know if you've seen any demos that Fleur has um, uh, been doing over the last few weeks. She really is the most exceptional teacher. She um, is very, very good at explaining things, very, very good at um, uh, clarifying certain issues which you might be having with your jewellery making. Check out this demo. When we come back, we've got loads and loads and loads coming up, including a gorgeous um, a pumpkin collection, which is right here. So that's going to be coming up in a few moments. Don't go anywhere. Let's have a look at Fleur's amazing demo. Designer Fleur here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crocheted necklace. So it's using the four mil gemstones that come in the kit and it's crocheted onto beading um, thread. So just the normal beading thread that comes into your um, 
threading packs and then I've used the beautiful silver thread as a tassel at the bottom. So to create the actual necklace itself, we need to create these little chain stitches of um, crochet. So you're going to need a crochet hook and you're going to need some beading thread. So I'm just going to get my large crochet hook and some large um, material just so you can see how to actually crochet a chain stitch. So, gonna make this so to get started with your crochet, I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook here just so you can see um, what I'm doing with this pink cord. Um, and on the actual piece itself, I used a three millimeter hook just because it was a little bit finer. Okay, so what we're going to do to start with, we need to make a little slip knot that goes over the top. So I'm just going to bring the left hand strand over the top, folding it down on top of the working strand. So all I've done is a little loop over, fold it down over the top, and then what I need to do is just bring that loop through. So I create a slip knot for this to go on and tighten it up with the working strand, okay? So I've now got my first loop in place. I'm just going to tighten, so it tightens on the working strand. Now to hold my thread, and I'm not a crocheter, but I just hold it, I wrap it around my little finger, underneath my ring finger, over the top of my third finger, and then I can crochet, okay? So I'm holding the knot, the original knot between my thumb and my first finger. I've got my thread braced against my middle finger. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger, that, that knot, so it's not going to um, it's not going to be tight to bring that through. So you, with my crochet hook in my right hand, I'm going to go anti-clockwise around and pick up the thread that's over my middle finger. As I hook that thread, I'm going to start to turn my crochet hook to the side. So the hook's on the top at the moment, and I'm going to turn it to the side, bringing that down and through the loop that I had on my crochet hook. And there we've got our first stitch. So again, next stitch, around the crochet hook with the hook facing to the top. As you start to bring that through the loop that's already on the crochet hook, turning the hook to the side and bringing that through. Okay, so don't pull it too tight because that will make the, the stitches too tight to come through. So again, around, pick up the, the thread. As you start to pull it through, turn the hook to the side, which makes it easier to go through the actual stitch and you can see quite quickly we're starting to get a lovely simple chain stitch of our crochet and again it's all to do with the tension not pulling that too tight so you can see that my index finger sorry my middle finger is helping guide the cord through and then the hook is starting at the top and then it's coming to like a nine o'clock position as it's pulled through and this is what's known as a simple chain in your crochet okay so I'll just do a couple more just to sh just to keep showing you so hook over to the left cord comes round over the top in an anti-clockwise position as you start to pull through that little loop that's already on your crochet hook, the crochet hook turns to the side to allow it to go through the loop easier. Okay, so keep going. And you can see just how quick these chains can be made. So we're going over the top all the time I'm bracing the, the previous um, stitch on my um, index finger with my thumb, just keeping it there, turn the hook to the side, 
So it's easier to bring that through. So every single time we've got a nice chain stitch there that's appearing. So that's just using a demo cord, just a thicker cord, just to show you how to actually crochet the action of crocheting a simple chain stitch, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move to the size that I actually made the, um, the piece in. And as you can see, I've got it onto my, um, my, my spool. I've not cut anything off of the spool. And I'm using just a spool tamer just to help me. I've preloaded all of my gemstones. So because you, you can't add any gemstones on, because as you can see, the, the hook's in one end um, and the reel is here. So we need to preload all of our gemstones before we start. Now, this can be a little bit more tricky to start with because obviously it's a thinner a thinner material and it is more like a wire so it will want to tighten up very quickly so if if the needle or the, the hook just slips out just make sure you just pick that, that hook straight back up so again I'm just going to do a few more with this just so you can see now when we want to add a bead I'm just going to give myself a little bit more beading thread when we want to add a bead take one of our lovely beads and we let that go all the way down to the bottom and then we just crochet over the top of the bead and we can see now that that is now trapped in place so I'm just going to put a chain of like three stitches three to four stitches in between so you can see now that one's trapped in place we've got our next three chain stitches and I'm going to bring another bead down and again take a little bit more of my um, beading thread. So as we bring that through, turn the hook to the side and bring through. And that now has stitched that little chrysocolla in place. And again, we're just going to do another couple of stitches in between so you can see now how we've got those couple of stitches in between and those beautiful chrysocolas in place so it's up to you how many stitches you put in between i'm just going to bring across the actual piece that i've done so with some of these i've used three stitches in between sometimes i've done two stitches sometimes i've even put two gemstones together so you can see here I've stitched two gemstones together and gone back to singles. So you have enough gemstones in your kit. You get three strands, one Labradorite, one Amazonite and one Chrysocolla. You get enough in there to, to sort of like really mix and match what you're doing. Now I've done a total of one, two, three, four, five, six strands. So like two of each. So you can see there, I've got six strands of um, actual crochet itself. Now, what I'm going to quickly show you is how to finish the ends, okay? So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to bring over just a little piece of uh, a demo that I've done. So as you can see, I've got all my little pieces here. And what I've done is I've gone through one crimp bead, okay? Now... I'm going to put two crimp beads in place, one that holds them all together, which is the one that you can see, and one that's going to then go through the clasp. So using my crimp in pliers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that in to my crimp in pliers, into the back station of the crimp in pliers, and I'm going to squeeze them all down together. Okay, So that now has created my little horseshoe. All my ends of um, my crochet are all together and I'm just going to go back in and just make that into a nice round bead. Obviously we're going to cover this with a, a, a crimp cover if you've got any at home. So now what we can do is we can actually take away quite a lot of these strands. We don't need all of these strands. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick two strands that are together. Those two there look, look perfect. Okay, and I'm going to cut away the rest of these strands. Okay, now just make sure that we don't cut all of the strands away. So I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to cut those strands away so I'm now left with two strands. I can now go ahead and get take another quint bead. So I've got another quint bead there. And a jump ring that I can use to attach my clasp to. What I'm going to do now is exactly the same as what we would add on a normal... Um, I'm just going to trim that one off so it's the same length. How we would add a normal clasp. So I'm going to go through the crimp bead with both, both of them. If you want to just go through with one, that's entirely up to you. Bring that down. Up on my jump ring. Again, through both of them. Back through my crimp bead. And bring that all the way down. That crimp bead now is sitting on top of the previous crimp bead. And now I can go back in with my crimping pliers and do exactly the same with that crimp bead there. Squeeze and squeeze. I'm going to bring in my cutters and cut that away. And there I've got a nice neat end now with what I would do now is put two crimp covers over the top of these two. But I've now got a nice neat end that I can now attach my clasp to. And then the rest of this then you would do exactly the same on the other end. And that would make a beautiful bracelet. So I hope you've enjoyed this demo. I'm just gonna pop a couple of pictures of the finished piece that's on my mannequin at the end of the video. Um, and if you have any problems, just get in touch with me on JM Guest Designer, Fleur Hastings. Thank you very much. guest designer flow look at those little shots at the end that's amazing she's back at 11 a.m time for the pumpkin time for the pumpkin time for the pumpkin pumpkin bundle time for the pumpkin time for the pumpkin time for the pumpkin bundle here we go so <laughs> oh yeah we really love pumpkins it's so hard oh. I love a pumpkin save save so I save it for amber yeah. okay okay <clears throat> This is amazing. Yeah, two yachts to handle. That was a dreadful name for that. I mean, gorgeous kit. Pumpkin patch. There you go, pumpkin patch. Amazing. Love. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Anyone for squash? I like that. What are those knobbly things called? They're called gourds, aren't they? A gourd is like, isn't it? Yeah, gourd's like a small pumpkin a bobbly you know the ones that look, that look like they got warts and they're really small they're called gourds i think pumpkin collection pumpkins are basically slightly flat f slightly kind of flattened rounds that you're going to be getting here they're absolutely beautiful you've got these three really beautiful bright colorful strands you've got your crackled um multi quartz in your um i believe these are six mil and seven mil you've then got this gorgeous round of fluorite there these are eight mil in size just gives you a slightly less rounded shape and also what you get and you can see it particularly with the larger ones you've got this lovely strand of crackle quartz here which is i believe seven mil as well you've got these really lovely facets that go around the circumference of the gemstone around kind of the girth of the gemstone uh, which are kind of um, rectangular facets that you get, which are absolutely amazing. You've got three clear quartz and a smoky quartz one as well. They are gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? They give you such lovely, lovely luster. I would be 
getting this bundle today. Now, the reason why I'd be getting this bundle today, you've got 16 mil round, uh, sorry, 16 mil pumpkins in here. I'd be getting this bundle, I'd be getting them for this collection here. What would I be doing with it? Marla necklace. Let me show you a photograph. Let me show you a photograph. Marla necklace. Marla necklaces. Let's have a look. So if you want to know what a Marla necklace is, oh, male necklace. No, thank you. That is uh, not what I was looking for. Oh dear. No, no, no. Marla. Gee whiz, that was, that could have all gone very wrong. So this is a Marla style necklace. It's a lovely, lovely piece. Amazonite and Jasper necklace. And you kind of get the idea what a Marla necklace is, okay? Oh, no, don't want to sign up. Thank you. Go away. There we go. Um, so it's got, it's a lovely knotted piece with typically 108 or more beads in it with a lovely tassel on the bottom. It's, it's kind of um, to Buddhism what rosary beads are to Catholicism. So, you know, they're the kind of beads that you use if you're doing, uh, if you're saying certain mantras. Um, and they need to feel nice going through your hand. They need to be very tactile. And this, of course, has got that tactility. It's got that really lovely size and shape on it as well. They're going to be quite weighty beads, but I don't mind that. I quite like the whole experience of wearing necklaces like this, particularly if it's over a lovely kind of light V-neck T-shirt, something like that. £190.60, and pence, just a little bit more interesting than just rounds. I mean, we've got lovely rounds coming up as your deal of the day with the Naughty Do It All. These are just a little bit different and they've been unbelievably faceted. Here we go, my lovelies. Fantastic price point today. I've only got 51 available. 34.95 for all of this. Now, 4.37 a strand for some of these smaller ones that I can just about imagine on Jewelry Maker during a clearance event. But not when we've got these 16 mil um, uh, pumpkins of clear quartz and just smoky quartz. They're absolutely tremendous, aren't they? Just amazing. 34.95, Beverly, Diana, one and two, Miranda, Diane, Magali, Collector, Hazel, Collector. Tons of you coming through to get these. Well done, everybody, at 34 pounds and 95 pence. Tony, Tant uh, Tatiana, Mary, well done to you as well. Julie, well done to you as well. Check your baskets out. If I said to you, 34.95, just for these four strands here, you'd definitely come through and get it, wouldn't you? You definitely don't. I mean, what would that work out to you between four strands? Less than a tenner per strand. That for under £10. That for under a £10 note. That, both of these for under £10 each. But it's not just for those. It's for all of these as well. Tons of people coming through. Well done. This is the best way to buy. Buying in, buying in bulk or buying big, beautiful bundles like these. Look, check out that alliteration. That was good, wasn't it? Checking out the uh, big, beautiful bundles that we've got here today. They are complete bargain-tastic big, beautiful bundles, aren't they, Michael? They sure are, Carol. They sure are. Uh, 34 95 well done. I've only got 51 available. They are going to sell out today. Fantastic. Well done. Call us on our free phone number 0800 644 655 or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com or get involved on our app. Tap the app, Michael. Ooh. Quick. Quick before it sells out. Tap it. There we go. Well done, everyone. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah, we really love Amber. Well, Amber's coming up at um, 12 o'clock. We're very excited. It is last in stock. Sorry, Michael, are we keeping you up there? Sorry, what? On cameras. <sighs> anyway, elasticity. This stuff is amazing. You may think, well, elastic's elastic's, Carol, but it's not. Elastic is not just elastic. Elastic, you need to have a really great quality product. Now, elasticity is made by Beadalon. They do different gauges of elastic. They do different colours of elastic. I've got three different loads of it coming up. I've got 0 0.5, 0.5, oh no, slightly larger, a slightly bigger quantity of that, and, point, and this is 0.8, so this is quite a thick elastic. I'll be using it with the beads that we've just bought you. I'll be using it with the beads that we've got coming up in the, um, uh, for the deal of the day at 11 o'clock. I'll be using it with all of your um, um, incredible um, uh, Naughty Do It All pieces as well. To make stretchy bracelets, a lot of people are making bracelets at the minute for the NHS. Uh, Michael, I saw something on your Facebook page, was it last night, the lovely yeah. rainbow, uh, was it hammer bead pieces that are hanging from a tree? Yeah, along the road, there must have been about like, 50 there. They're beautiful, they're absolutely gorgeous, Michael, they're so, so nice. And it's lovely for people walking past your house, it's lovely for people who are working for the NHS and going to work their long, uh, kind of 12-hour 
uh, uh, shifts and being able to make little stretchy bracelets lovely Kleshner um, is making um, uh, little stretchy Swarovski rainbow bracelets um, for local NHS key workers you know it's a lovely thing to be able to do and it occupies the mind and it keeps you it keeps your hands busy um, 5.95 great deal it's the kind of thing you can take out in the garden sit in the sunshine um, and just and just have fun you know have a cup of tea have a beer whilst you're doing it um, you know it's supposed to be relaxing 2.95 for you today my lovelies well done five meters of your black elastic City cord. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Well done to Rowena. Diane's got two loads. If you do want a multi buy, by the way, it's so simple to do that. Either speak to our call centre team who are based a couple of miles that way. They are a brilliant team of individuals. Um, and if the quantity is available, you can have three, four, five, ten of whatever you want if the quantity is available. If you're shopping with us online, on our website or on our app, then just alter the quantity that you check out and you can have whatever you want. You can have kind of whatever quantities you like, um, so long as the quantity is actually available. Helen, Magdalene, why don't you, Julie, Thomas, Kim, Christine's got two, Collector in Dorset's got three, Sandy, Jackie, Tony, Beverly, uh, Anya's, um, Helen, Jennifer, well done, Gillian, well done. Loads of people coming through. This is great to see, well done. Keep coming through. I've got the slightly finer elastic coming up as well. Um, I made some stretchy bracelets with my kids the other day. Macrame, I think, was a little bridge too far for Pippa. She's only four and she's got little tiny hands and, um, and you know, she's, it, it was a little bit too much. She, I mean, she can't tie her shoelaces, so I think that's a good rule of thumb. Making stretchy bracelets, though, she loved doing that. She made some lovely stretches um, uh, for, uh, she made some lovely um, stretches for my uh, mother-in-law, for um, aunties, uh, for my, for my, uh, for my mum as well. And they've loved making these beautiful pieces. Gorgeous quality. Well done. But you need to have a really great quality elastic. Otherwise, there's no point doing it. Which, which, which um, length? Okay, there we go. So five meters of the black elastic. Now, this stuff is amazing. This is like hen's teeth. We never have this in stock. This is exactly the same but it's 0.5 rather than it being, let me show you the 0.8 next to it and you'll see and you'll understand what the difference is. So the difference between 0.5 and 0.3 is only point, sorry, the, the difference between 0.5 and 0.8 is only, is only 0.3 of a millimetre, but you can really tell the difference. Now, of course, this is for your smaller gemstones, for your slightly smaller beads. Can you see the difference in the gauges there between the 0.8 and the 0.5? It does make a big difference, doesn't it? So we got here the 0.5 millimeter gauge uh, black elasticity it's great 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 stuff i don't think we've got any of the clear elastic in stock i don't think in the minute uh, but anyway 295 and this is for five meters in total i've got a longer spool for you now as well so it's a 0.5 again this is 25 meters so the price is obviously going to be higher when you consider how much elastic is in a is in an elasticated bracelet, you know, you're going to be able to make dozens of, um, dozens of uh, elasticated bracelets um, using this. Always take a little bit more than you think you're going to need because um, um, you don't want to have too little, uh, but it is absolutely brilliant. Well done. Uh, three chances remaining now, 6 95 uh, Magdalene, Miss Janet, collector in Dorset, loads of interest there. Check your baskets out, my lovely. 6 95 is your price point today, collector in Essex, well done. Rowena in Carmarthenshire, well done to you. Brill, well done, my lovelies. Right. Let's do some jump rings. Now, one of guest designer Fleur's amazing mediums that she is just an absolute wizard at is chainmail. Chainmail is an ancient um, uh, technique originally used to make armour, whether it was for um, ceremonial purposes or whether it was for battle. Um, and here you've got sterling silver open jump rings. These are four mil in a diameter, which makes them six mil outer diameter. These are some of the most useful jump rings you will ever use. In chainmail, they're absolutely wonderful, but for connecting things together, for finishing off necklaces and bracelets, for creating a, uh, an extended chain on your pieces, this is absolutely brilliant. Um, they're really, really, really useful, and you will always be glad to have them. I do have some anti-tarnish bags coming up, uh, which are wonderful, just to let you know. So if you don't have any anti-tarnish strips... If you're basically going to be getting these and not using them within the next, I don't know, year or so, you might want to get some of the anti-tarnish bags that we've got coming up in a few moments because that will stop them from tarnishing because, of course, they are sterling silver. 7 95 that's for a pack of 50. I would always say 
you know, if you've been looking for these uh, kind of sizes and this kind of precious metal, because we don't tend to do lots of the sterling silver ones, we tend to do more silver-plated copper ones, then do multi-buy. Already got multi bidders Liz and somebody already coming through to get two of those. Email any pictures of your pets to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or email us a picture of your, well, it's a bit late for breakfast now, but email us a picture of maybe of your 11s, any snacks, uh, to studio at jewelrymaker.com. 11s is brunch. Oh, brunch is very much a weekend thing, isn't it? I love a brunch. I do like a brunch. Oh, what's your favourite meal of the day, Michael? Is it breakfast, lunch or dinner? Uh, dinner. Dinner? Yeah. Fine. Why not? Why not? It's, it's the only time you, we have time to sit down. It's the only time you have time you to have sit down. Children. Ah, yes. So I suppose you sit down, you talk about your day. Exactly. Have yeah. a nice relaxing time. That's nice, isn't it? 7 95 well done. Sandra's got two of those. Collector Antoinette, Barbara, Allison. Well done. Loads of people coming through for that. That's great. Well done. Okay, next. Next, 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 next. Five mil jump rings. So these are five mil inner diameter, which makes them a seven mil outer diameter jump ring. So even larger. Arguably even more useful, I suppose. The larger the jump ring, I mean, I suppose your nine mil jump rings, and this is what guest designer Fleur always says, um, nine mil outer, so seven mil inner diameter jump rings that we do here at JM. Open up another 100 different weaves that you can do because of the size of the jump ring. So not, not, I mean, it's not the rule of thumb that the larger the jump ring, the more weaves you can do with it, but it is, but, but you will find them very, very versatile. Um, there will be certain weaves where you need a slightly smaller and a slightly larger jump ring. Um, so, you know, by all means, do stock up on all of these because, of course, when we get guest designers, um, 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 uh, when we have um, uh, Fleur back with us on the live shows and she's doing chainmail demos, and if it is a chainmail themed show, whenever we bring jump rings to air, then they always sell out. $9.95 for a pack of 50 of these. And don't forget, I mean, you can make jump rings yourself out of sterling silver wire, but it's not as simple as making a jump ring and cutting it. They need to be sawn so that the split is like that rather than like that. They need to be um, polished. They need to be tumbled. They need to, there's a lot of processes that go into making jump rings of this kind of calibre. And unless you're a silversmith or doing it professionally, I would say get them from Jewelry Maker, 100%. 50 of these, um, you'll probably need about 150, about three packs of these if you want to make a, a solid sterling silver bracelet. Just to let you know, Jackie, Veronica, Collector in Dorset, Eileen, Angela, well done. So if you want to get enough to make a bracelet, I'd probably get three packs of all the jump rings that we've bought you today. Uh, looks like we've got some more coming up in a second as well. Well done, everyone, 9.95, gorgeous, well done. Beautiful, a load of sterling silver in these as well. It's always worth mentioning that. Next and final jump rings. Ah, here we go. So these are the big 7 mil inner or 9 mil outer uh, diameter jump rings. These are so beautifully made. Let me just find one that's kind of closed, but I mean, they're all open, as in they've all been cut. But even though they've been cut, it's still, you can, you, I mean, you can see where it's been cut because, of course, they haven't closed completely, but Look how straight that cut is. Can you see it at the top of the jump ring? That's what you want. That, oh, you're only going to get that with a saw. Can you see it there? There it is. You can only get that with a saw. You're not going to be able to get it with your flush cutters. Your flush cutters won't cut in a straight line. They will cut on a diagonal by the very nature of the way that the blades go. So just, to, just please do bear that in mind. And also, with because um, stunning silver, although it's a, a really beautiful precious metal, it's still reasonably soft compared to things like brass when you do cut it it will squeeze and taper a little bit at the end so my my advice to you is just get these um, um as many packs as you can afford for doing really awesome weaves like dragon scale which take hundreds of of um uh, jump rings but it's the most amazing satisfying weave once you learn how to do it um, you're going to need a lot of these. 50 for 14.95. Eileen straight in there. She's come through to get three loads. So you instantly got enough there to make a bracelet, which is fantastic. Jackie, collector in West York. She's got two loads. Diane, well then, collector. Jennifer, Renfrewshire, Julie. And look at that gram weight. 10 grams of sterling silver. These are the biggest jump rings, the biggest precious metal jump rings that we do here at Jewelry Maker. Really, I mean, you can get bigger ones, but really... I think when you're starting off, the, 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 the gauges, sorry, not the gauges, the sizes that we bring you here at JM 
are kind of like your, your bread and butter gauges, uh, your bread and butter sizes and circumferences, I should say. Um, if you want larger ones, you can get larger ones, you can make larger ones yourself, but I think we've really covered most of our bases here. Loads of people through for that. Well done. And let's do these anti-tarnish bags because you might be stocking up on these jump rings. You might be using them. Uh, you know, you might be doing, ch you might do chain mail in the winter. I don't know. You might do chain mail um, at different times of the year. You might be wanting to do it for when you come out of self-isolation. You want to, you know, um, make chain mail with a friend. I've got anti-tarnish bags for you here. Which ones are we doing? The, yeah, we've got the larger ones. Now, these are wonderful. The material you've got here has been impregnated with a tarnish uh, prevention uh, solution which gives the bag kind of like a smoky uh, kind of finish so it doesn't so you don't need to put an anti-tarnish tag in here the anti-tarnish tags are the little black pieces of what look like paper um, they're absolutely brilliant I don't have any here at the minute but they're like little black pieces of paper this is a bag basically made of that kind of same material you're getting a pack of 10 of these. I'd say if you make sterling silver pieces or pre any precious metal pieces, whether it's rose gold or yellow gold plated silver or your sterling silver or indeed your argentium, although your argentium doesn't really, isn't really as much at risk of tarnishing, put it in here. Put it in here. All of your silver clay pieces, put them in these bags and they will keep really, really nicely. The, 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 the level of oxidisation that you will get on your jewellery if you put them in these bags is greatly, greatly diminished. Um, Polishing your pieces up can take quite a lot of time. It also takes, you know, a lot of jewellers um, 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 uh, polish as well. I would say get these bags. Five ninety five. They're absolutely brilliant. Bernadette, Eileen, uh, Christine, Anne, Bonnet, you, Caroline as well. Also, if you're going to be making sterling silver pieces and you're selling them on, why not sell them? Obviously, put them in a lovely box and make them look all pretty. But if you if you put them in one of these, then whoever that buys that piece of jewellery or whoever is um, you're gifting that piece of jewellery to knows that it is a precious metal item. Um, if you want to store your head pins, your eye pins, your crimp beads, any of your sterling silver components in these, it will keep them nice and fresh and shiny as well. I would be doing that personally. Um, next, I've got the smaller ones, which are great for things like your jump rings. So just get your jump rings. Go, open the bag up. You can use them again and again and again, which is great. It doesn't kind of run out, which is wonderful. There we go. Put them in there. And then they're safe in there. They'll be, a, uh, they'll be as, as shiny and as bright and as beautiful in six months' time. You know, the, the risk of having, um, you know, them, them, them getting uh, tarnished and oxidising is greatly, greatly, greatly reduced, which is just wonderful. Pack of ten of these today. Pack of ten of these today for £4.95. Well done, everyone. Amazing. Uh, gorgeous. Well done. Um, four. 95 for you today. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Or tap that up! Well done, everyone. Oh, yeah. Loads and loads of people coming through to get these incredible items today. You're doing so well. Well done, everyone. Right, next. Really? Perfect. You like the tassels, do you? Well, coming up in just over an hour's time, you're going to be able to make all your own tassels, all the tassels that you can possibly have dreamt of. Michael, what are you doing? I was just done taking that out of my trousers. <laughs> you are such a wally. Homeschooling has already fallen apart at home. My poor husband is at home trying to work whilst my kids work, and it's just... It's hit the fan already, I think. Pippa's listening to What the Ladybird Heard with her form teacher um, uh, reading it, which is lovely. Mrs Sykes, we love her. That's great. Hattie is struggling with fractions and, um, and my husband is trying to do some work. I can't even imagine how stressful that household is right now. And the puppy. Probably doing a poo in the kitchen somewhere. Clear Quartz, I think I'm in the safest place for me right now. Uh, clear Quartz, um, plain eight millimeter rounds. Um, amazing. They're like bubbles, aren't they? They're like beautiful bubbles. bubbles. 14.95, oh baby, baby. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? 
beautiful. It reminds me of that scene out of um, Labyrinth where David, um, where David Bowie with his, with, his, with his thing. I don't think it was actually him Neither. with his crystal balls. Turn back, Sarah, before it's too late. Turn back, Sarah. <laughs> Are you gyrating? Oh my word, that's enough. It's a great movie. Um, you remind me of the babe. Fourteen ninety-five. Well into Liz. Well into Sharon. Collector Diane. Oh baby, amazing. Well done. We're talking about labyrinth. Please tell me you've seen it. No, he's going to pretend that he hasn't. Dance, dance, magic, dance. Hodor. No. What's the big, the, the big uh, thing called? Hoggle. Oh no, uh, L Ludo, 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 Sala, Sala, Ludo, um, smell bad. The rocks. What's the name of the, the fox's dog? I'm a dog. What's his name? Come back this instant! What's his name? Lance, is it Lancelot? Something like that. When the dog's running, the fox is on the back. So right? funny. <laughs> oh, Ludo, Sala. And Hoggle, who goes French. into the Ub, uh, French, French. smell bad. Um, who goes into the um, the oubliette? He looks like Neil from the Young Ones. It's Neil from the Young Ones. He totally <laughs> does. Yeah. I want to do a quiz. Black sectarian nodule. Sounds like something you uh, go to the doctors for, isn't it? Doesn't it? I've got a terrible case of uh, black septarian nodules. <laughs> um, it's gorgeous. You've basically got... Um, oh, look at this incredible... Look at this incredible... <coughs> patination inside the gemstone. Absolutely amazing. They launched at £21.95. And then, and then, we did this. 9.95. They're gorgeous. But guess what, guys? We're still not done. Still not done. Oh, we're still not done. Still not done. Oh, we're still not done. Still not done. Oh, we're still not done. Boo, boo, boo. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 9.95. I know! What? How low are we going? <gasps> Under four quid! Oh my word, just get them Kat, Caroline, Lexi, and Gemma. Diane! Hello! It's a go, go, go! This All the way here. down, yes, Michael. Looks like, so a looks like a kookaburra, if you show it to the camera. That looks like a kookaburra sticking its head out. You what? Out of some like, brambles. Possibly, yeah. Anyway, uh, well done, everyone. At three ninety-five. I'm not sure you had to break social distancing rules just to tell me that, Michael. Hmm? Are you? Anyway, well done, everybody. Three pounds and ninety-five pence. God, just loads of people coming through. I'm not surprised. Maggie, Beverly, Kim, Chantal, Nikki, Rachel, Jan. Annette, what's coming up in the next hour? <gasps> sterling silver cable chain, sterling silver cable chain, sterling silver cable chain, sterling silver cable chain. It's a bracelet. And we've also got a load of charms. Very, very, very excited about that. Prince Charming, brrr, Prince Charming, brrr. So, uh, Prince Charming, go, Prince Charming, go. Adam, oh, don't even go there. Adam Ant. Anyway, well done. Oh, 3.95, great. Oh, no, well, you sounded like you were moving on. I don't know that. I'm not a mind reader. Gee. I'm not a mind reader. Right, well done, everyone. Amazing. Great, great time for Mark Jackson to walk in there. Well done. I'm not a mind reader! As our MD walks in to some domestic. Oh, 
Seraphonite, one of my absolute favourite gemstones. This incredible gemstone, the, as the name would suggest, related to seraphim, related to angels. This incredible gemstone is said to be the gemstone of guardian angels. It is only myth and legend, but there is so much. Um, there is a huge amount of belief and faith which is attached to this gemstone. It is only myth and legend, so we can't lean too much on that. But I find it fascinating, and I love the way it looks. A lot of people call it um, green charite. It is from Russia. Um, and the colour, the feather-like inclusions that you get is amazing. It means so much to a lot of our viewers. Um, I remember the very first time I bought you Seraphonite, it was in Cabotons. In fact, I've only ever bought you Cabotons, apart from two strands that we had um, a couple of weeks ago. And it was a, from a lovely lady, and she said that she um, bought some seraphonite and she made some pieces of jewellery in, in, in memory of her um, husband who passed away. And it just made her feel a little bit better. I think a lot of people are aware it's only myth and legend, but there is something which gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling. I just love this gem. It's beautiful. Um, ooh. Sir Didymus and Lancelot. Oh, it was Lancelot. The Bog of Eternal Stench. The best film ever, says Wanda. Bog of Eternal Stench. Sir Didymus. He's called Ambrosius. There you are. My cats are Hoggle and Ludo. Higgle. Oh, is it Higgle? I thought it was Hoggle um, uh, and Ludo. So Ambrosius, yes. Ambrosius, come back here this instant. 9.95 for your Seraphonite. Amazing gemstone. Christine, Lynn, well done to you, my lovelies. Lots and lots of interest there. It's a gorgeous gemstone. Get it home. Use your extended 30-day money-back guarantee. So we've got charms coming up in the next time. We've got a, the most beautiful 95 sterlings of a cable chain bracelet as well. Don't go anywhere. Um, we will see you in a couple of moments. And don't forget, we've got the deal of the day coming up in an hour's time. The Naughty Do It All tool with the gemstones, with the wire, with the Esalon, and the findings. See you in a sec. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. This Tuesday on Jewelry Maker, the deal of the day is phenomenal. Have a look at everything you're getting. The Naughty Do It All tool, and the Naughty Do It All tool comes with all the things that usually comes with, the DVD, the full instructions, etc. but so much more. A plethora of wire, champagne gold, silver and copper to name a few. These are just some of the strands that you're getting. I'm seeing varicite, agate, clear quartz and more. You've got some fabulous cords in all different colours and so much more loads and loads of findings so tune in on tuesday here on jewelry maker this is your deal of the day jewelry maker course gift vouchers are now available you can choose from a bronze silver or gold voucher each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice for more information contact our call center on 0800 644 655 Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewelry making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewelry Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Oh, too much Michael Wolf. You're very <laughs> naughty. You're for oh, you. I'm close to the line. Okay, email us your pet photos, studio at jewelrymaker.com. I want to see your pets. Diane, I want to see your um, German Shepherd puppy as well. Uh, and please send your photographs in as an attachment. Hockey, docky, smocky. Amazing. So please, please, please do make sure that you can do that. Um, uh, studio at jewelrymaker.com. Very excited about our dinner of the day coming up in an hour's time. It's the naughty, naughty do it all. Naughty, naughty do it all. Get a knot and you tie it. Get a knot and you tie it. It's a naughty do it all tool. Um, it's the most amazing board. We've got exclusivity to this in the UK till the end of this year. We've got the instructional DVD. All the pegs and all the stuff that goes with the naughty do it all tool. We've also got all the Eslon. But that's not it, because you've got all of that. All of that, Michael. Hey, love. All of those gemstones. All of your gemstones, all of your wire, and your silver-plated base metal findings as well. Uh, amazing. Um, so fantastic. That's coming up in an hour's time. We've got 108 chances available. Guest designer Fleur's going to be joining us for that as well, because she lives by this tool. Coming up in this hour, we've got sterling silver cable chain bracelets. We've also got charms. We've also got some gorgeous photos. Come on. Here's a dog. Whose dog is this? <gasps> Nala. Oh, Nala. You are beautiful. 
You are beautiful. <laughs> Nala, oh my gosh, what a little pumpkin. Look at that face. Little poppet. Send us photos of your dog or of your 11s, or of your lunch or of your view. Anything really. This is from Suzanne. Oh, this is Marmaduke. Is that Suzanne in the photo, do we think? We don't know. Lovely Marmaduke. What a beautiful... Really, it's a rescue cat from Bahrain. Gee whiz. That's amazing. Little pumpkin. Perfect. Amazing. Okay, cable chain bracelets. Now, this is... The thing which memories are made of. Um, I don't know about you, but maybe you have already started a collection of jewellery for your kids, for your grandkids, something which you add to every year. You give them a gift and then maybe you add, you know, you give them a beautiful charm bracelet and then you give them charms for every birthday, every Christmas, when they do something like pass an exam or when they, uh, maybe for Easter or maybe if they pass their driving test or, or you know, or, or, or just because present or when they turn 21 or 18, whatever it might be. You might be in the process of making a piece of jewellery for your grandkids, first piece of jewellery. So maybe when they're, I don't know, when they become a teenager, when they're 13, you might want to give that item of jewellery to them. Now, what you've got here is the perfect base to start off with. This is a sterling silver cable chain bracelet. It's beautiful, it's simple, it's uncluttered, it does exactly what it should be doing, which is giving you a vehicle uh, and a platform to be able to add things onto. Now, it is 20 centimeters in length. What does that, oh, here we go. I'll use my Naughty Do It All board, because I can. Because I can. Because I want to. Because I want to. Here we go. So, this is a 20 centimeter uh, bracelet or up to eight inches. With all the jump rings that we've just bought you, if you want to make it longer, just add a two in two or a one in one jump ring chain to it and, and make it as long as you want. Make it into a necklace if you want to. But as it stands at the minute, it is eight inches in length. Okay? Perfect. Now, it is solid sterling silver. Sterling silver wise, you are getting 5.22 grams of sterling silver. Let's just see if that tallies up with this one we've got here. Let's have a Well, no, I don't. I'm, I'm only challenging. I'm only challenging because. Oh, come on. Carrot grams. Ooh. Ooh. On the nose, on the nose, 5.22 grams of sterling silver. Now, this is only £10.95. Now, that is amazing. For what could be the beginning of a journey, the beginning of a collection, the beginning of something amazing, this could be the very base, the very essence for something which is going to be passed down generations in your family. And I tell you something, I love it. It's eight inches in length. You can make it longer if you wanted to add some of those gorgeous jump rings that we've just done. Just by adding like a, a two in two chain mail um, um, extended chain on there. But a really lovely piece of jewelry just to wear on its own, actually. A really, really impressive chain. Lovely open links. Obviously, open links so you can clip things onto it, so you can weave things onto it and attach charms onto there. You can even weave a ribbon through the, eye, um, uh, through, through the links if you want to do that. Loads of people coming through. You might not get one for yourself, get one for your best friend, get one for your kids, get one for your grandkids, you know. If anything, this, this kind of period of weird social isolation has proven to me how much I love my friends, how much I value my friends, how much I miss my friends, how much I miss my family, my mum, my dad. I miss my mum hugs. My mum gives the best hugs in the world. And, you know, I miss, I miss going around to the house and sitting down and having a cup of tea. And I miss, I miss so much about all of that. And the way that you can show your appreciation is by putting together a little collection because don't forget, this period in history will be taught in schools for generations to come. Our kids and our grandkids will learn about this weird, weird time that we're currently going through. So what better way to kind of, not, not, um, not, not celebrate this time, but what better way to remember this time by making and starting off that charm bracelet. Also, it is the year 2020. It's the start of a new decade. It's really exciting times. I know it's weird times at the minute, but let's put that to one side. It's the start of a brand new decade. Let's make this decade count. 
let's kind of get excited about the 10 years you know that we've got to come and and by starting off a gorgeous bracelet like this a charm bracelet a, a, a collection of memories because that's what charm bracelets and necklaces are they're collections of memories every single one can be different I love them. I think they're great. Gorgeous. Well done. So ten ninety five. Well done. Loads of multi bidders coming through to get this. Twos, threes, fours. It, 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 it's brilliant. It fastens with the lobster claw clasp. There we go. And you just connect it together like that. Enjoy wearing it. Um, wear it just like that. Wear it as a, um, a charm bracelet. Obviously, it's got a decent clasp. The reason why it's so important it's got a decent clasp on it is because that's going to weigh quite a lot. Uh, if you do put loads of charms on there but by all means if you want to make it longer if you want to make it into a necklace or a slightly longer bracelet um, then uh, just add the sterling silver jump rings that we bought you gorgeous quality right okay next um, ready made bracelet ready made bracelet here we go ready made bracelet little charmy bracelet with some Kabixiconia charms on this is this is Oh gosh, get out of the way. This is seven and a half inches in length. Um, it's got the extended chain on it, so you can wear it up to seven and a half inches or down to about seven inches in length. Let me show you what you're getting. It's a ready made charm bracelet because you're getting ready made sterling silver Kabixiconia set charms. You've got your star for serenity. You've got your flower for nature and natural beauty. You've got your moon for celestial um, um, influences. You've got your horseshoe for luck. And you've got your heart, which of course symbolizes love. Um, all of these, I mean, they've got a lovely, lovely movement. Last 45 available, did you say, Tom? Um, for £14.95, a ready-made charm bracelet. These are gorgeous. They're so popular. I don't, I mean, I'm trying to think when charm bracelets kind of first came in. I think it was probably around about the Victorian times. Um, I would have thought to kind of, um, you know, for, for, for people who are, um, for soldiers who are maybe going away to war and kind of giving them, became popular when? 1940s, there you go. Um, so they began in the United States. Fantastic, a great way of adding collections, of, of symbolising um, uh, symbolizing, um, love or protection. Worn as talismans, maybe. So you've got your lovely horseshoe on there. You know how people used to kind of wear um, fake uh, or, or maybe real rabbit's foots uh, for luck and things like that. You know, I'm not suggesting for one second you hang a rabbit's foot from one of these. Um, but, um, but, you know, people, people do... People do, um, people do um, uh, wear charms for luck, uh, for love, or to remember, or to remind them of maybe kind of um, holidays that you went on or your wedding day, something like that. Gorgeous, why not? Here we go. Seven pounds thirty. That's your deal today. Well done, everybody. We're losing money on this now, but do you know what? Let, let's 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 get the last forty odd out there. Well done, everybody. The most amazing deal for you today. Gorgeous quality. Well done. <laughs> Seven pounds and thirty pence. Well done. Oh, the lads are on one today. Caroline Collector in Yorkshire. Well done. Verena. Well done to you, Angela. Debbie. Debbie. Well done to Anne Collector in London. Audrey's got four. They're beautiful. I have to say, they're just lovely, lovely things. Lovely things to be able to have on your craft stall. If you're just going to be, look, if you've got a craft stall and you've made, oh no. I want to fall off my chair. If you've made loads of pieces of jewellery to go in your craft stall and you've got a few little kind of gaps, why not add onto your stall, I don't know, four, maybe five of these. Oh, no, it's the wrong way around. Here we go. Four, maybe five of these. Sell them for 20 quid. Sell them for 20 quid. People will buy them. Sell them for as little as 15 pounds. It's only seven pounds 30. Great little present ideas. You're absolutely right, Ollie. If you struggle for presents, especially for kind of girls kind of you know, you know kind of teenage girls as well this is a really really great gift get one of these and add a charm each year you're absolutely right ollie lovely right what next oh three you are <laughs> here we go oh nice beautiful bracelets <laughs> Uh, here we go. So let's give this a measure. So up to uh, seven and a half inches in length. Hang on. Oh, seriously? Up to just over seven and a half inches in length. 
Got, I'm measuring it on my Naughty Do It All ball, which is coming up in <gasps> 47 minutes. Okay, so, <clears throat> what's this? <gasps> a serpent. A slithering serpent. Slithering serpent with Kabixaconia in there. Should be. $22.95, let's get it down to below cost. Down, down, down. £10.30. Oh, it's down £10.30. There you go, my lovelies. Get involved with it. I, do you know what? I don't want to wear it that way. I want to wear it this way. I want to wear it this way. There you go. I like it that way round. And you've got these lovely marquee-shaped Kabixaconis in his eyes. For his eyes. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Such gorgeous sparkle. I mean, you can, if, if you want to, take the charm off, to, you know, take the centerpiece off and use it separately, maybe in a lovely brooch, then use a chain for something else. Oh, these are nice. Oh, with this. Wow, I like this. Oh, I like this. Silver coloured cowrie shell beads. Michael, you launched these, did you? Yeah. Tell us about these. Well, for me, I've got two syllables for you, and that's boho. Boho, absolutely. Isn't that gorgeous? These are lovely, aren't they? You've got with it um, some beautiful cord. Uh, you've got matching cord and spacer beads as well. So I assume... Hang on. Really? Oh, so you have not them. On our Facebook page, apparently there is a tutorial with these. Oh, for our in-house designers. That's amazing. I think you can search on our page for it, I would have thought, for cowrie beads. Oh, they are lovely. You could, if you wanted to, just take, just take one of them, put them on a piece of cord, and then slide a sterling silver spacer bead to the bottom. Why not? I'm just going to do that right now. Uh, with, with the price it's going... I'm going to jewellery make. Yeah. And, and there's different colours, I think, uh, coming up as well. There are different oh, colours. Stackers, just stack them up. Oh. Yeah, five or six on, on, a, on a wrist. It looks so cool. You're absolutely right, Michael. Here we go. Look. This is how I would wear it maybe as a necklace. Simple, simple, simple. Very nice. Um, they launched at 9.95. Look at this. <laughs> oh gosh, 2.95. There you go, everyone. 2.9. Oh no, sorry. 2.95. Amazing deal for you today. This is absolutely brilliant. Use these, oh wow, use them on a little um, um, uh, bracelet, make your, make your stack of bracelets, you're absolutely right Michael, I love that idea. Stop being so shouty, you are being very shouty. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. You do realise talk, you do realise talk back's recorded, you lot. <laughs> you bunch of rotters. <laughs> hey? <laughs> right, what are we doing now? Which ones? Five. Pink. Pink coloured cord. And look! Oh, gorgeous colour. Look at this, gorgeous. You've got your sterling silver spacers. You've got your beautiful, um, your beautiful pink coloured cord. And then you've got these. I agree, Michael. I think layering these up will look absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. Beautiful. Guess design of Fleur loving these as well, which is really nice to know. They're lovely, aren't they? They're really, really beautiful. Um, I love, just, I love the look of them. They remind me of something. I don't know. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. But I think little st um, stacker bracelets like that, just gorgeous. Why not? Amazing. Yes, all right. 
shouting at me. She's barking, barking at me. Talkback is recorded, mate. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And any manager will be able to hear what I have to put up with. Ollie, just out of interest, did you get um, hiccups again yesterday? Did it all go? Ollie had two really weird bouts of hiccups yesterday during the show. <laughs> it was very strange. <gasps> These are my favourites. <laughs> Coated pink covered cowrie shells. Beautiful. Gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful, aren't they? Really, really lovely. Um, really, really love um, um, the idea of making boho jewellery with these. I think that would be really nice. Really lovely and lightweight. Um, use it alongside your wooden beads maybe as well to give you a really lovely, um, uh, uh, really lovely looking piece of jewellery. Lovely kind of multi uh, mixed media piece of jewellery. That would be absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? Why not? <laughs> okay, next. Oh, these are exciting. Gorgeous, they're white and gold. They're so nice, these are. Gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Three ninety five. Now this one, you've got your white and uh, gold um, cowrie shells. You've then got your beautiful um, yellow uh, coloured um, cord, and then you've got your beautiful sterling silver spaces as well. Three ninety five. Well done. You're gonna have so much fun using these in your jewellery. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful. You could even kind of glue them onto your um, picture frames, things like that. I just, they're so lovely, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 Get involved. Woo! Woo! Use it with your Naughty Do It All tool, which is coming up in 40 minutes. No. Hang on. 39 minutes and 90. 39 minutes and 50 something seconds. Yeah, sorry. Right. Next. There's nothing in there. It's just an empty bag. Oh, no, there is. There's something there. <laughs> Here we go. Lovely little bracelet. Oh, look. This one is... Here's Jane. Here's her dog. Here's Jane's dog. Oh, that is a cute dog. That is a cute dog. Good pumpkins in the background. Good ears. Good, yeah, good ears. Yeah. Attentive ears. Oh my gosh, how many dogs? <gasps> Suzanne! One, two, three, four doggies I can see there. Do we have their names? Marty? Monty? Who? Chester and who? Marty and Demby. Lots and lots of dogs. I like the one at the back there. It's like an album cover, isn't it? It's like an album cover, yes. You know what they're all thinking, don't you? Oh. Ooh. What were we thinking? Oh, that's right. Oh, my the camera. <laughs> right, whose dog is this? <gasps> Freya. Oh, my gosh, what a beautiful dog. A husky lurch across. What a beautiful dog. <gasps> I bet that dog loves exercise because you've got a greyhound and, uh, sorry, a lurch and a uh, husky. <gasps> Who's is that dog? This is from June. The TV addicts. Amazing. I love it. And that's a doggy. It's in that one. <laughs> what? Is, what is that? What have you just shown me there, Michael? That's weird. Best boy Brody. He doesn't have any bends. Okay, so we've got here five and a half inch bracelet. Adorable. I think perfect for maybe that christening bracelet. Or oh, golden wedding anniversary. Absolutely. Don't necessarily think you have to use them as bracelets. You can if you want to. Um, take the little charms out, use them separately. Um, you know, attach longer pieces of chain on there, pop them into earrings. It's entirely up to you. 
gold plated sterling silver six pounds and 95 pence there you are my lovelies 6.95 uh, which is a great great price isn't it for a really lovely precious metal bracelet you imagine how much things like this would cost you on the high street or if you went to i don't know selfridges or or, or house of fraser somewhere like that you know to you know a concession in a in a department store 6.95 for you today well done my lovelies gorgeous gorgeous quality well done everyone 6.95 for the last 13 in the world. Bernadette, well done, collector. Well done, my lovelies. 6.95. And it's solid, precious metal as well. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, come on, get up. Oh. Uh. <laughs> dunna, dunna. Mm. What is Batman's favourite meal? Dinner, 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 breakfast. No. Oh, it's a bat charm. Oh, we're two little bats. Oh, oh, dairy. Get a dairy. <laughs> Do you know the clip I mean? Yeah. The bat in the kitchen. Ah, oh, you're tearing him out. He's like McGregor. Ah. Oh, <laughs> sterling silver round bat charm you have to watch the clip i had a message from a lovely viewer after the show the other day after i mentioned the bat in the kitchen uh, clip saying that they watched it and they were crying with laughter it's one of the funniest clips on youtube bat in the kitchen dairy get it dairy get it oh well done sterling silver round bat charm should be 6.95 it's solid sterling silver you could even engrave on the back Gorgeous. Guess it's on a flare like in this bad boy as well. You're absolutely right, darling. Can you turn it upside down so we can see. Like that? The other way around. Oh, mate. Like that? The other way around. Like that? Yeah, it looks like an upside down bat. <laughs> 3 95 do you know what? If you haven't got anything constructive to say, Michael, then just best keep quiet. All right, mate. Well done, Susan, Wendy, Collector, Jenny, Debbie, Jackie, Tracy. See? Lots of lovely people like it, Michael, without you saying it looks like an upside-down bat when it's upside-down. Right. Next. Yes. Oh, skulls. Oh, I love these. Love them, love them, love them. Om nom shavai. Om nom shavai. <laughs> Here we go. That clip is hilarious. I know. Oh, it's so funny. Isn't it? Get it, Derry. Get it, Derry. With a, and then the dog, and then the dog wheeze on the floor. I just love that clip. It's so funny. Anyway, here we go. Gold plated sterling silver sugar skull charms. They are gorgeous. Beautiful quality. Incredible kind of. Um, um, relevant to your um, uh, uh, day of the dead, you know, with your ancestors, and, and it just it just a wonderful way of commemorating ancestors is wearing these, which are to do with the the, the, um, the uh, Mexican, well, the, well, the South American uh, Day of the Dead festival. Coco is a great movie. It's a great, great movie if you get the chance to watch it. It is animated, but it is brilliant. Uh, anyway, so. Um, Gold-plated sterling silver sugar skull charms. Four of them in the pack. And here is your price. Come on, Tom. Come on, come on, Tom. Tom. Six ninety-five. Love them. Absolutely love them. I think they're gorgeous. I suppose if you added one of these onto your butterfly one, you could make your own Silence of the Lambs charm bracelet, couldn't you? Well, why not? Come on, why not? Why not? Tell me about the lambs, Clarice. I'm looking for a Jame gum or a Jamie gum. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's how he sounds, isn't it? <laughs> That's a great impression. Oh. Now, one of my favourites here is in my top five. Oh. It's just amazing, isn't it? So, sterling silver, love bird charm. Oh, Ollie, that was such a good impression. Oh, yeah, I remember that ages ago. Uh, so, look at that. 
Oh. Gorgeous sterling silver lovebird cage. What I love about this is the symbology of it. Obviously, we are we are all locked away at the minute, not being able to see our um, our friends, our family, which is such a shame. But it's just something we've just got to get through at the minute, and it's killing everyone. I know it's just it's so sad. But we will meet again, as the Queen said. We will meet again, and this is such a lovely, lovely charm to remember this really, really unusual, really trying time. Now, it is sterling silver. You're getting these two beautifully depicted birds in a cage. You're getting three of them in the pack. Earrings and pendant or three charms, maybe one for you, one for your mum, one for your sister. I, I don't know, whoever they're for. Enjoy them, they're beautiful. Um, all 925 selling silver. Should be 995. But do you know what? We're going to go lower. We're going to go lower. Here we go, everyone. Um, don't forget your extended 30-day money-back guarantee until June this year. Three pounds and 95 pence. Amazing. Brilliant. Incredible. Get them. Add them to your order. Multi-buy if you can. Just phenomenal deals for you today. Well done. And just so much opportunity to really build up a collection, to make these pieces your own, to really make a bespoke item. It's a great opportunity to do that, isn't it? It's such a great opportunity. Well done. 3 95 for you today, my lovelies. And don't forget, your P&P today is just 3 95 And that lasts for the entire day so whether you're shopping with us this morning or you're shopping with lovely lucy on the mid show this afternoon um you're covered by that one pmp of just three pounds and 95 pence gorgeous quality well done my loves uh well done to aisha jackie collected denise jackie tony tony well done anonymous bidders well done hey tony okie dokie <gasps> Ooh, sterling silver Swarovski charms. Do you reckon that's your favourite movie ever, Ollie? Science of the Lambs. Oh, is it not? Is it, is it Black Cubic Ciconia? Sorry, I beg your pardon, not Swarovski. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. Sterling silver, black cabixiconia skull charm. <gasps> Beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at those eyes. Gorgeous quality. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The detail you're getting there. Now, the back of it is left open. So if you wanted to press maybe some serolin in there or some resin in there, it's entirely up to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Why not? Um, uh, 925 sterling silver with your black cabixiconia. Gorgeous. Amazing. Uh, 1195 is your should be price. Let's go lower. Because we can, Michael. Because we love you. Well, we love you, but we love our lovely viewers too. 11.95 all the way down to 3.95. Gee whiz, Tom, that's a low price. We're talking about our favourite films now. Texting, what's your favourite films? Um, Tom's saying Truman Show. I just think it's the weirdest movie to have as your favourite movie. It's a good movie. The ending's all right, yeah. Silence of the Lambs is definitely my top five. Maybe my top three. Five, seven, definitely in my top five. What about you, Michael? What's your favourite movie? I really don't know. I mean, the film that I've seen the most amount of times is Predator. Predator? Oh my gosh, amazing. 3 95 Kim, Jan, Collector, Denise, Collector, Paula, Tony, Aisha, Angela. Oh wow, loads of you. Hertrude, Kim, Caroline, Tanya, Claire, Helen, Collector, Tracy, Anonymous. Well done. Brill. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Okay. Yes! Deer Hunter is a great movie, but it takes a long time to get going. Long time to get going. No, it's not. The first hour is them just at a disco and stuff and saying goodbye as they go to, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a good movie. It's a great movie. Great cast, isn't it? Christopher Walken and De Niro and all that lot. But uh, it, 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 it's very, very slow off the mark, isn't it? Oh, gee whiz. Anyway, um...
Wolf of Wall Street is an amazing movie. That's a very, very good movie. Um, Sterling Silver Stone Bezel Charm. Amazing. Um, here you can put here your... Uh, is that right? You can put your 12 mil, yeah, you can put your 12 mil round gem in there. You can put your serolin. You can put your resin, your polymer in there. Polymer clay. <gasps> Bit of concrete in there. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! For just £4.95. pence. Well done. Oh, yeah, just gorgeous. Why not? Beautiful. We've got some very exciting deals coming up on Friday, just to let you know. We've got concrete, um, which we're very, very excited about with, with Gemma Crow. Who else? Um, have you seen her brother's work, by the way? He's amazing. I think, I think his name's Ben. And um, he, is, um, he does an amazing... Uh, you should go to his website, which I think is Frack It by the Crazy Crow. And he creates the most amazing pieces using a uh, kind of electronic fracking machine and he and he and he sends electric uh, currents through wood have you seen this stuff michael you would you would love it you would absolutely love it he's amazing he is so 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 talented really want to get him on the show desperately want to get him on the show because he can make pieces of jewelry you know you can make um beautiful pieces using this incredible technique it's absolutely amazing uh, but yeah we've got Gemma with us on friday uh bringing you concrete jewelry the launch of concrete jewelry which we're super excited about if anyone's gonna do something amazing with it it's going to be Gemma but we've also got a bit of homework haven't we gang yeah. Tom Ollie myself and Michael we've all got a bit of uh, homework we've all been given little polymer clay kits which we're going to go home and have a go with we're going to take some uh, uh, videos and photographs of what we've made bring the pieces in on Friday because we've got a little polymer clay section coming up on Friday which we're really excited about and Ollie's got a very very special uh, section coming up polymer clay bowls very excited about that coming up on Friday Sterling Silver. It's happening. Let me tell you, it's happening. Sterling Silver Enamel Strawberry Charm. I love this. Does anyone, when they were a kid, ever read the book Strawberry Shortcake? Strawberry Shortcake? No, I can't imagine you would, Ollie, but, but it, 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 it's, it's lovely books. Anyway, it reminds me of Strawberry Shortcake. Seven Nights. Well, of course you can read it if you want to, but I just can't imagine you being a Strawberry Shortcake fan. It's about a little character called Strawberry Shortcake. And she's got friends have who you, are. Have you ever had Strawberry Shortcake cocktail? Or... Have I ever had what? Strawberry Shortcake co cocktail. A Strawberry Shortcake cocktail? Mm, yeah. What is in that? It's, is it like a daiquiri? With, with cream. Though. With cream? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Raspberry sauce. Baby, or... baby. That yeah. sounds amazing. Woo! Seven ninety five for your Strawberry Shortcake charm. Beautiful, baby. Hey, send a photograph of your dog, of your view, of your lunch, of your... Oh, my gosh. That is adorable. That is Luna the pug. What do you reckon Luna's voice is like? She's not... She looks naughty. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, do you see she's French? Is she told like that? Oh, I didn't mean to speak. Luna? The pug. Get out of my conservatory. Luna, what are you looking at? <laughs> Turn your head around. I love it. I love giving dogs voices, Look don't you? Ball. Watson's voice. We haven't decided on Watson's voice yet, but I think it's going to be a bit like that. All right, all right, yeah, all right, yeah. Hello? Hello? Who? Huh? There's a ball. Who? Huh? Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Uh, Gold-plated sterling silver angel charms. Five, of, uh, five in this pack. <laughs> the gold-plated sterling silver. Great to be able to wear this, maybe to remember somebody who's passed on. Um, maybe a lovely gift to give to somebody who's lost somebody recently. Um, a really, really lovely collection of little angel charms. And discreet enough that you can wear it all the time and, you know, people aren't going to be pestering you saying, oh why, oh, why are you wearing that? You know, what's that for? You know, it's a nice way to just kind of remember somebody and do it in a really kind of subtle way 
British restrained way, as we're very good at in this country. Um, uh, it is, it, I, mean, I mean, we are though, aren't we? The British are very good at um, kind of restrained um, emotions. Um, whether or not you think that's a good thing, it's a fact. Uh, but uh, but yeah, gold-plated sterling silver angel chimes. Yes, Michael? Could you fill those um, holes with like nail varnish or something? Just to that's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah with, a, glass kind of with a, a... Yes, exactly. Get that lovely stained glass look. So whether, either with your resin or with your enamel or, as Michael suggested, nail varnish. Or a bit of a, or a bit of polymer clay, Ollie's suggesting. That would be lovely. Two ninety-five. There you are, my lovelies. Well done, everyone. These are gorgeous pieces. Well done. Just a really, really lovely thing to be able to do. Or maybe gifts for the uh, for your local NHS key workers because they're guardian angels. Maybe I, I don't know. I mean, they are. They are absolutely amazing, aren't they? They're doing an amazing job. They're doing an amazing job. They're doing an amazing job. I think teachers as well are just unbelievable. People working in people working in warehouses, food delivery people, refuse collection teams. Um, you know, it's just amazing. No, it's not. Right, twenty-three. Oh, Tom. Send a heart to a loved one. So, if jewelry maker for whatever reason came off air, and we were all put into lockdown. You could get this, Tom. Make me a pendant and um, put it in the post. <gasps> Look! Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only. There we go. So, you've got your beautiful. Oh, look. Maybe with a lovely photo. Oh, maybe with a bit of polymer. Yeah, maybe with a bit of polymer. Isn't that good? Oh, we got a dog photo. Oh, Jacqueline. Lily. Lily looks really, really proud of herself there. Very, very pleased with herself getting on that bench. Do you want to see my dog? She's like a lovely little bear. Yeah. That is a cute, cute, cute little pup. Love looking at photos of dogs. Should be seven ninety five. I really love these. Send it to your best mate. Send it to your best mate. Fill it full of resin. It's got that little uh, lip around the edge. So if you want to put resin in there, if you want to put um, polymer clay in there. Oh, gosh, there's lots of shouting going on. Um, but yeah, do get involved. Um, 7 95 Angela, Collector, Tony, Belinda, Jan, Sharon, Tony, Anonymous. Loads of people coming through. Uh, Neary sent us a photo of his dog. Oh. Oh. She's a beauty. Is her name Tilly? She is so beautiful, Neary. Is that a recent photo of her? Is that a recent photo of her? Look at her hair. Look at her hair. She's got like a little kind of... Oh, look. Little Mohican. Look at that little face. A lovely, yeah, lovely, wet, healthy nose. Beautiful little daisies. <coughs> Lovely. Seven ninety-five. Well done. Gorgeous. Look at that. What? No, that has got to be the price, Tom. Is that not the price? You can even engrave on the back of it if you want to. Look at that. Two ninety-five, Michael. Oh my gosh, Michael, you, you, one for me, one for you. That would be so cute. Wouldn't it be so amazing, yeah. adorable, yeah. super cute. Uh, we can make it into beautiful pieces and then, uh, you know, send them to your friends. Gorgeous, why not? Two ninety-five. Ah, oh, they're so lovely. I love them. Oh, they're so beautiful. Well done. Loads of people coming through to get this. How is that only two ninety-five? How is that only two ninety-five? Amazing. <laughs> Oh, well done. Less than three pounds. Oh, gorgeous. Well done. No, I'm not laughing at Michael. Ma Michael can't do the glove thing anymore because he's got substandard gloves now. He can only do it with the blue gloves. <laughs> oh, Ollie. <laughs>
We are 17 minutes away from today's amazing deal of the day. Gold-plated mm. True Love Collection. Sterling silver and Capixaconia. They are gorgeous, aren't they? $14.95, you've got the Capixaconia. The yellow gold-plated silver. They are so lovely. You love your hair today, Carol. Very sophisticated. <laughs> really? Um, love to all. Still working despite the crisis. Sylviana. Thank you, my darling. That's really lovely. No, I literally sat down this morning, started to comb my hair, and went, oh, well, that's a disaster. I thought, I haven't got time. I need to go and have my breakfast. And I just went downstairs. Maybe I should do that every day. This is my dog, Bailey. Um, we need to see a photo of it. We need to see a photo of your dog, Bailey. Send us a photograph of your dog called Bailey. Gold-plated sterling silver with your Cabixiconia. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? $6.95. Isn't it lovely? Gorgeous quality. Well done, everyone. Well done to Jan, well done to Marlene, well done to Anonymous Bidders as well. Well done, everyone. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, there's a lot of hate this morning between, uh, between the lads here. I'm loving all your texts. Thank you so much. It really makes me, it really makes me feel happy getting all these lovely texts. My, myself and Michael are getting all right. Um, and it, it seems to be between Neary and Tom Stewart. Always though, always. A lot of anger. A lot of shouting. Angela, what well unto... Oh my gosh, that's such a high-pitched noise you've just made there, Tom. Better be worth it. This is from Chrissy. Oh my gosh. What have they done? What have they done? They've killed a bear. The, what, what breed of dogs are those? Are those? They're not labs. They look like staffies to me. Yeah, fit, fit they friends. are beautiful dogs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there was a bear. It tried to attack us. I've taken care of it, Mum. Don't worry. You know the, you know the YouTube clip uh, with Tankin? With the bin lid on his head, they look like that. They are oh, they are beautiful dogs. I love them. This is from Susan. What is that? Her hubby's raising caterpillars. Oh my gosh, what an amazing thing to do! <gasps> He's raising cat. That's a caterpillar. Look at the size of that. That's amazing. Oh, there's his thumb. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's incredible. Caterpillar, I talk like that. This is Winston. Oh, it's from Guess the Sign of Fly. Oh, it's Winston. There he, oh, he looks so handsome. He looks so shiny. He looks so... Zoom out a bit, mate. I can't see his head. Can't see his head. It's all right. What a handsome boy. He looks like Kirstie's old horse. He's beautiful. Is he part... I think he's part um, cob, isn't he? He's got a lovely... Irish cob, it's got beautiful, oh look at this, oh he's so beautiful, he's beautiful, and he's a baby, oh Flo, thank you so much for sending in that lovely photo of Winston, he's beautiful, and we've got another one have we, from Tracy, oh look, there's Maddie, there's Maddie, the 11 year old doggy sitting on a chair, and rightly so, if I was 11 and I was a dog, I'd want to sit on a chair, absolutely, you sit on that chair love, looks like it's got a nice soft cushion on it though, from Maddie. Oh, here we go. Uh, what number? Oh, gosh. What have I just done with that? Okay, there we go. Um, <gasps> Sterling silver entwined lovebird charm. Heaven's alive. <laughs> oh, look. Gorgeous. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Sterling silver charm. Uh, you've got your beautiful lovebirds in there. Uh, and you've got your gorgeous um, heart, which looks like it's made from kind of twisted, kind of entwined twigs, doesn't it, Michael? Don't you think? Yeah. He's nodding there. Yeah, doesn't it just? It's beautiful. Loving the show, says customer. Thank you. Loving you too, customer. <gasps> so... 
loving your name customer uh, so yeah you've got three of these my lovelies another lovely charm to be able to gift to somebody Twelve ninety five for all three today that's amazing a four pound 31 each that's great that's great Twelve ninety. oh no we saw it was 6.95 well done 6.95 there you are my lovelies this is from jan gatsby my daughter's cat oh jan that's really cool so gatsby looks like gatsby's got like a black beard or a black chin very cool very very cool is it wearing a lead is gatsby wearing a lead i can imagine that being oh i can imagine that being oh who's that Oh, it's the same person with the caterpillars. Another caterpillar. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. What is that? Oh, I'm not too sure about that. Sorry. Rhoda. What's Rhoda doing? Oh, Rhoda is lying next to some lovely seed beading by the looks of it. Just a pile of a pile of hair and fur. Lovely. I'm loving all these photos. Thank you so much. It really lets us into your world, which I really like. Um, it's always nice. Oh, I know 10 minutes away. Very, very exciting times. From the deal of the day. Deals of the days. Deals of our days. We're going to be joined by guest designer Fleur to bring you the Naughty Do-It-All tool because it is the most amazing tool which she swears by. You've got the tool, you've got the cord, you've got the gemstones, you've got the findings and you've got the wire. 100 and excuse me 108 available it's going to be amazing yeah you're absolutely right tom it is fleur's fault this incredible bundle guess is on the fleur she's going to be joining us uh, after the break so here true love collection large heart charm 925 sterling silver and cubic zirconia so you've got here a lovely sparkly heart charm Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful Kabuk Zirconia, isn't it gorgeous? Look at that lovely shine, that lovely sparkle you're getting there. Um, it's really, really lovely. I mean, as a little pendant on its own, that would be lovely. On the bottom of a pair of earrings, there's a little dangle. Just to catch the light, that would also be really nice as well, wouldn't it? Three chances, sorry, three in the pack. How many chances available? Oh, quite a few of these available. Seven ninety five. Seven ninety five for you today, my lovelies. They remind me a little bit of like a heart padlock as well. If you wanted to make fashion a little key out of polymer clay, maybe, uh, then you absolutely could do, couldn't you? They're really, really sweet. They're really, really lovely. My my kids would love um, little charms like this. Maybe on a little bracelet. They both wear little stretchy sometimes, and um, a little charm like that would be very, very well received. Jan collector jackie well done to you my lovelies get those texts sent through don't forget you've got an extended 30-day money-back guarantee until june this year it's amazing it's brilliant it's absolutely fantastic uh, you're also paying uh, just 3.95 p and p per order and if you're brand new to jewelry maker just for being a new customer you'll also get two free strands of gemstones and a free get started with jewelry maker dvd d v d Dubba -dub. Is that what it is? Is that what DVD stands for? Yes. Oh, dear me. Okay, here we go. So, um, nice. Jan Gatsby is wearing a lead because of the nearby busy road. Thank you all for keeping working. I see. That explains it, because I can't imagine anybody really has great success in trying to walk a cat. A cat will do whatever it wants to do. Um, and if a cat wants to go for a walk, it will go for it. It doesn't want to go for a walk, it'll just sit there. Um, so that explains it. Thank you so much for that, Jan. Brill. Right. Very conscientious cat owner. Um, 925 sterling silver with a loop on top same on the back as well i like the idea of maybe bezeling a gemstone in there popping a little gemstone in there maybe filling it full of resin or polymer clay or concrete <gasps> friday 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 oh, it's going to be amazing it's going to be incredible 10 pounds and 95 pence you're getting three of these beauties today 
absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, why not? 6.95, Jane Paula. Paula, why don't you, my lovely Jean? Why don't you? Paula's got two of these. Well done, my lovelies. These are just stunning, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Love the patination on these. It's a really lovely, quite sophisticated patination you're going to be getting there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful. 6.95, well done, my lovelies. Don't go anywhere. Straight after the break, the naughty do it all tool, the best deal of the day. I think we could possibly bring you at these in these kind of crazy, crazy, crazy times. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer maker create oh, where hang on. have i done it it's easy to stay in touch with jewelry maker you can like our facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people you can follow us on twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions send photos of your designs and enter our wall of fame competition or if you need any help or advice you can email our friendly help team make sure to get involved and stay up to date with jewelry maker Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's gemstone investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Don't want to miss a jewellery maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. This Tuesday on Jewelry Maker, the deal of the day is phenomenal. Have a look at everything you're getting. The Naughty Do It All tool, and the Naughty Do It All tool comes with all the things it usually comes with, the DVD, the full instructions, etc. but so much more. A plethora of wire, champagne gold, silver and copper to name a few. These are just some of the strands that you're getting. I'm seeing varicite, agate, clear quartz and more. You've got some fabulous cords in all different colours and so much more. Loads and loads of findings. So tune in on 
Tuesday here on Jewelry Maker. This is your deal of the day. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Oh my goodness me, I feel like I've been waiting for an absolute eternity for this deal of the day. It is absolutely uh, amazing. Um, this is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of a deal of the day which is just going to blow the roof off your jewellery making experience so far. If you haven't got this, if you don't know what it is, prepare to be amazed. It is the most amazing tool. I think one of the most amazing tools we've ever done because it has... <clears throat> Excuse me, such enormous versatility. It, sorry, I've been eating almonds on the break. They're all in my teeth, it's horrible. Let, let me have a quick sip of juice. Sorry. That's better. So, the Naughty Do It All tool, amazing. We do have guest designer Fleur with us. Uh, is she with us right now? Um... So she is with us um, right now. She's, uh, she's going to be uh, joining us because this tool, I have never seen Fleur so excited about a tool or an element on Jewelry Maker. It was absolutely brilliant. Here is guest designer Fleur. Hello, lovely. Are you okay? Oh my gosh, are you in your studio? Yes, yeah. What a, what a space. Do you want to have a quick, I, I could give you a quick tour. Oh, yeah. Oh my see, gosh, yes, um, please. I don't know, in fact, if I pick it up. Show us your you view. See. It looks like you're sitting next to a lovely window. Look at that um, clock. Um, I don't know how to do this. So, uh, yeah. Is that a cooker? So this is all my. I don't know how to. How do you turn it around? Oh, that's a bit close. Hang on. Click on it and then click oh, the camera. There, there you go. go. <laughs> there. This is my oh. studio. Okay. Wow. That looks a lot tidier than our studio. That's where I sit. Oh I don't know how to turn it. Hang on a minute, because I've got to turn it round now, and I'm going to get really close to you. Oh, that's not <laughs> Oh, look at them chins. <laughs> Hang on. That's Let amazing. Right oh, hello. Got a lovely <laughs> shot there, Flirt. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, wow. Um, what a lovely place to work. What a lovely place to go and hide. <laughs> that's the awesome. Door. <laughs> yes, exactly, yes, exactly. Thank you for sending in a photo of Winston. Ah, uh, no. I was, well, I was going to send a picture of my stick insects, but I couldn't find them. Your stick insects? They're, in, they're somewhere in their leaves, but I oh. can't see them. Oh my gosh, that's brilliant. Please, please send us a photo when you do find them, when you do manage to locate them. Um, they're, just, they're just over there, over my shoulder. Can you see in that, that thing there? Yeah. What, and your stick it's, insects are in there? They're in there, yeah. How many have you got, roughly? Two. I've got Adam and Dougie. 
That's amazing. I love that uh, names. That's uh, that's very interesting. So, <laughs> so Fleur, the Naughty Do It All tool, the Naughty yeah. Do It All board. Talk oh, to us about yeah. this because this is your abs. Oh look, it's like a proud <laughs> mum. Look at that. Um, this is a tool which has really. Um, changed and transformed and revolutionised your jewellery making experience, hasn't it? It has. It really has. It's um, it's opened up avenues of jewellery making that I didn't think that I, you know, would enjoy or that I would find so easy. Um, this tool really has just got everything. It's probably the most comprehensive tool that I've ever come across with the amount of learning that you can do with it the amount of help that comes with it with your dvd your pdf and yeah. your learning library yeah it's just amazing yeah it is it is a beautifully made tool it's made in the usa i believe do we still have uk exclusivity to this flair yes i think so yeah yeah we do yeah um it is an amazing tool which comes with a number of different um, um accessories you've got here the Naughty Do It All board. Now, we do have the smaller board coming up today. What's the difference between this board and the smaller one? Is it, is it just size or, is there, or, or, or are there some other differences, Flair? Yeah, there are, there are quite a few differences. So the first thing is you've got the little pop holders that you yeah. can put your, um, like you've got your S1 set up in there yeah. um, at the minute. You've got the groove at the top where you can lay out a design of a, of a necklace or a bracelet yeah. as well. So um, it still has, it's got obviously a longer ruler on there as well. Of so you've got more of a, you know, more more things that you can measure so that the ruler goes up to 18 inches on the actual large board. I can't remember, I think it goes up to 10 inches on the small board, I'm not quite sure. Right. Um, but other than that, they are the same kind of tool, as yeah. in they will do the same thing for you. Now it's beautifully made you've got these little feet on the bottom what i love about it is you can put it on any work surface you don't need a special surface um, uh, to work on put it on your um, kitchen table and you'll be absolutely fine you'll be away inside this bag you've got a number of different little pegs haven't you which when you set them up it becomes clear very quickly just how uh, wonderful this tool is so for instance you've got these clippy um kind of crocodile clip um uh, pegs this will allow you to do all sorts of different things. Um, first and foremost, I, I remember you saying how useful a, t a board like this is for things like macrame, because of course, your macrame cords, normally if you use a beading board, they're sandwiched against the board, whereas if, if you use your Naughty Do It All uh, board, your macrame yeah. um, cords are actually raised up so you can get underneath them. It makes it much easier to do those kind of techniques, doesn't it? It does, it really does. and it's. It, it, it helps you and um, it almost helps you become more dexterous if you like yeah. because you've got gap underneath so you can start to add things to your to your beads and sort of like see how you like it and see um, if you want to change the length of it the one thing that I find with macrame is trying to get the finished length perfect yes. whereas with this I know because it, it's already like I've already put the pegs in at that space mm -hmm. those clips so I know it's going to be exactly the same size that I want. Now, something else which I know that you've said before, because this is, this is going to come up in the, in the demo in the 12 o'clock hour, is you say you've made station necklaces. Now, I know that, 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 that you use these kind of little clips to measure out your station necklaces. So I'm looking at the 14-inch part there. I'm looking at the 2-inch separations here. And I know that if I put these clips here, I know that they're going to be exactly two yeah. inches apart again this is a really useful guide to be able to use it makes making these station necklaces so much easier doesn't it it really does um it, it can be quite difficult to do the station necklaces you know if you haven't got the tin cup spaces exactly like that. it's yeah. very difficult to see where your gaps are mm. so with this it's just perfect it really does help but i mean for me the main my main thing that i love this tool for is making tassels now i just Whereabouts on the board do you make your tassels, Fleur? Perhaps you could show us. So you, you can make your, if I just get a couple of pegs. And yeah. Um, so you, all you need is you need your, sorry, if choose um, just a couple of, you know, you can see how long you want your tassels to be made. This nice. is really difficult to try and do upside down. Hang on. That's all right. Now so all I would do is I... Oh, see, it's the sun in the, in the yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can yeah, see there perfect. that you've got the two pegs. So that's the length of your tassel there. 
Yeah. The best thing about it is you can then, you know, clip that into place. So if you put a clip, a clip there, so we've got a clip now to hold onto the end of our tassel. Yeah. And then we can literally wrap wrap around wrap around the actual pegs themselves. And then, you know, if, if that one then, if you need to glue that for any reason or you want to keep that in place while you're carrying on with the necklace, mm -hmm. you can keep it there and then carry on working on the rest of, you know, the board. You can see that it's taken up such a small amount of space on the board. Exactly, it's, exactly. You know, you can use so many different, so many different sort of like techniques all in one go. So you could have your, your half-drilled pearls um, clipped into a clip and drying on one side. You could have a carme bracelet in the middle. You know, you could have a station necklace being made and then your, you know, to make it and then make a tassel as well at the same time. What? So it's it's so easy to use and mm -hmm. it's such a, a fabulous piece of kit. Mine never goes away. It stays out on my on my work surface all the time. Well, this is it. If you're if you're going to be if you're going to be setting a pearl, let's say for instance you've got a pearl earring which is uh, or, or a pearl pendant, something which is going to be drying and you need it to be drying off a surface rather than on a surface. You know, you can simply clip it mm -hmm. onto here. But as you say, down in this corner you could be working on something else. In this corner you could be working on something else because you've got the inch and centimetre measurements which I believe is something which has been made uh, which has been which has been added to the board for jewellery maker uh, yeah. or for the UK market I should say um, yeah. you've got something which although you can put it away in a cupboard and you can put it away in a drawer really to all intents and purposes that's probably not going to happen you're probably going to be keeping it out um, um, all the time to use uh, for very in, in various different ways you've got this DVD and this and, and the PDF which comes with it which is wonderful um, in all honesty though if you go to the Naughty Do It All website or if you go to Instagram or Pinterest and type in Naughty Do It All tool there will be hundreds if not thousands of different designs and uses for this incredible board this is a real companion when it comes to jewellery making there are certain tools that you only use when you're doing pearl knotting or you only use when you're doing kumahimo this is one of these tools that is a real jewellery maker and crafters companion the kind of thing that you will have with you all the time whether it's to measure whether it's to measure lengths as a ruler you know rather than rather than having a ruler which you're constantly losing because it slips down the side of a workstation you've constantly got that ruler there you've constantly got these these little guides here to measure your jump rings or to measure your gemstones you've constantly got this little gully here to put out your beads and your designs you've constantly got these little pockets here to put either your eslon in so you can use it directly off the reel or you can put your little pots of gemstones or findings in there so it's a real companion it is and also as well with the learning there's a learning library as well so when you get your oh, naughty board in brilliant. the box there's an actual code that you can put into the website so it's a naughty do it all website you put that code in and it opens up a whole new learning library as well that, oh, that sandra younger who is the inventor of this tool yeah. keeps putting things into there as well so it's it's like a constant um fresh supply of sort of like knowledge and um you know tips and hints on how to yeah. use this and people you know, i've i've had had so many messages people saying oh i use mine for this and i use mine for that and it's so amazing because then you're like oh of course i can use it for that I mean, you could i mean technically you can do things like flat kumahimo on it as well because you've got your um your spaces top and bottom and side to side as well yeah. so there's so many different mediums as well that maybe you don't think about you know your um the lovely jigs that we do like the earring hooks yeah. and you know the the s hooks and things like that mm. you can do those on here as well because you oh, use your pegs brilliant to put in the board and then just you can make figure of eight clasps on here you know you can make little um sort of like little emblems on here as well so there's so Absolutely. much you can do it's not just for now with your with your board and your DVDs and your and all your pegs and your clips you're also going to be getting all of these other elements now you've got your s long cord here which as you showed us earlier on that beautiful tassel that you made this is the perfect material to make your tassels with also your marla style necklaces this is the kind of material that you're going to be knotting uh, your marla style pieces on Speaking yeah. of Marla necklaces, we've got all these gorgeous round gemstones. Now, they come in different um, sizes, but they're all rounds. You've got everything from these beautiful little four mil rounds right the way up to these gigantic, enormous kind of 14 mil rounds as well, which are just lovely. Varicite, you've got some agate in there, some crackled quartz, some clear quartz. So all of that comes with the deal as well. Um, 
You've also got your silver plated base metal findings pack as well, which is just like a, a little added extra bonus. We're just adding it in with our compliments there, which is wonderful. And then you've got wire. I've got loads and loads and loads of one mil gauge wire. Now, your one mil gauge wire, um, I've got in silver plate, rose gold, uh, uh, copper, gold coloured copper, champagne gold as well. So you've got all of your kind of main coloured, um, uh, precious metal coloured and um, um, plated wires there as well. Now, as far as Marla necklaces go, I know that, I mean, the Naughty Do It All board kind of came in around about the time that you started doing your Marla style necklaces. And whenever we bring this board to air, I always think of your Marla necklaces because they're so beautiful. And I am the kind of jewellery maker where I, 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 need it, I need it to be made as easy as possible. And whether it's making tassels or whether it's helping you do your lovely Marla knotting, this board is so useful. I... I notice you've got on your bus there. Have you got a Marla necklace on your bus there? Yes, yeah, so I've got. Look at um, this, guys. This is this amazing. So this is using um, my. Oh, is it in the sun? Are they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um, so you can see that I've used the actual um, wire to make my wire end, my wire cones here, oh, and then right. to, to cover the ends of the tassel. So there's that's one way of. Um, of sort of like making your tassels using the wire as well yeah um, and the other way is is to use both of them are on the the marla dvd but just to use your oh i love but that piece these, this is the difference between i mean you say you did you say you've got some 12 mil rounds on there as well yeah or yeah 14? these ones here so these, these ones are, these ones are 14 mil that i've got here and these ones are like eight mil here so, oh. so you, you have got um with that bundle that you've got there you've got such a beautiful range to be able to do your marlin necklaces um you can use any size bead or any shape bead that you want but to have that bundle with this means that you can mm. start straight away now, I have got today, uh, I wish I had more, I've only got 108 of this bundle available. This Fleur, this is pretty much your creation, this is. Oh, is and, it? It, <laughs> yeah. and, it's, and it's down to your kind of passion for this incredible tool that we've got this bundle today. Now, the graphics are live, I have 108 available. This is, yeah, do, yeah, do you know what, you're absolutely right, Director Ollie's saying this is pure absolute value for money you've got here gemstones findings and wire that you will get through over the course of the next few months you've got here cord that you will get through over the course of next few months but you have here a tool you have here a tool the knotty do it all board and all of the clips and accessories and the pdfs and the dvd you've got here a tool a companion that will be with you for life it is amazing. We've had so many people contacting us over the last 24 hours about the Naughty Do It All tool since we've been sending out, um, since we've been showing that lovely promo that um, uh, presented Jenny very kindly filmed for us the other day. And the Naughty Do It All board is one of the fastest selling tools we have ever had on Jewelry Maker. It's so versatile. It is such an all rounder. It is such a companion. And there are so many jewelry makers from different from different backgrounds who do different types of jewellery from different parts of the world who absolutely swear by this tool it's absolutely incredible um look at this look at this for an info slide look at this look at all of this this is what you're getting you're getting all of this you're getting all of that okay so all of that that's what you're getting today. You're getting item after item after item after item after item after item after item. It's absolutely amazing. Now, just to let you know, we have UK exclusivity to this tool at the minute. So you can get it from the US, but you'll be paying a lot in, in, in shipping and handling. And it's probably going to be slightly delayed for obvious reasons as well. So really, the only place you can get this in the UK is here at Jewelry Maker. The way we've made it different, the way we've made it kind of catered for our amazing viewership, and our customers is by adding in the wire, by adding in the gemstones, by adding in the findings as well. And of course the Eslon. Now, okay, so to sorry Tom, what was that? If you were going to buy everything individually today, it would cost you £317.10. Half the stock's already gone. We only started with 108. I want to be able to bring you the best possible deal. You should be paying for everything today, £317.10. 
all these gemstones, all this wire, the findings, the Eslon, the, the not to do it all board. This is the big board with all the accessories, with access to the learning library, with the learning DVD. $99.95. That is the best Pardon? deal of the day price. <laughs> the best <laughs> deal of the day price ever. It is in, you are getting so much here. It's absolutely amazing. So for an extra £20, you get all your strands, all your findings, all your cord, all your wire. It is absolutely amazing. It's incredible. The phone lines and the web have gone absolutely bananas over this. It's absolutely fantastic. And the amount, the amount of what you're getting, 13 strands of gemstones, 10, 20, 30, 40. So 10, uh, sorry, uh, 12 strands of gemstones. Uh, fun, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 meters of your wire. You're getting a findings pack. You're going to be getting hundreds of meters of your Eslon as well and the Naughty Do It All tool for under £100. It is the best deal. And like I say, I mean, and Fleur, I know that you'll back me up with this as well. This incredible bundle, you know, the gemstones, yeah, you'll get through them. The Eslon, yeah, you'll get through them. The wire, you'll definitely get through that. The findings, you'll definitely go through that. These, these are with you for life. These yeah. are with you for life. You look after it, it will look after you. These are with you for life. Whether yeah. you are... A kumihimoist, whether you're a macrameist, whether you're a beader, whether you're a wire worker, whether you make tassels, whatever level of jewelry making you're at, whether you're six or or sixty or ninety-six, you've got over five meters of gemstones to keep you busy and a tool and a companion that will last you a lifetime. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? That is, I'm actually speechless about that price because. <laughs> um, I know me and Tom have sort of like done a couple of, uh, we've had a couple of chats about doing these kind of deals and I'm, I'm always blown away by, by what you can actually, you know, do and how much you can get for that money. Because for me, I mean, if I look around my workshop now, some of my tools are like hundreds of pounds, but then I need to add on so much more to be able to use them. So it's like, they're, they're not just the actual tool, it's everything else. This is a full... A full kit, isn't it? It's everything yeah. you need. You know, the only thing that I would say that you're going to need to add to that is a pair of scissors and your basic toolkit, and then you're done. <laughs> and a bit of maybe. Red zapper, and that's it. So the, so the, so the Naughty Do It All board on its own, remember the UK, um, uh, uh, Jewelry Maker is the only place that you can get it in the UK at the minute. The, the Naughty Do It All board on its own is 79.99 on its own, okay? 79.95 on its own. For an extra 20 pounds, you are getting over five meters of gemstones, hundreds of meters of your Eslon, a findings pack, and 50 meters of wire, all for 20 quid. That is the best bargain I think we could ever possibly, ever, ever possibly do for the Naughty Do It All um, board. It's absolutely me, that's, amazing. That's the best gift jewellery maker can give to people. It's amazing, isn't it? This you... will this will open up so many so many different jewellery making avenues for all for everybody in the household. You know, it's not just you as a jewellery maker. You know, you can get other people involved now as well. You're absolutely right. And when we and when we show pictures like this, you, we always whenever we show pictures of Marlasar necklaces, we always sell another ten of a bundle like this because of course you've got this beautiful piece, this gorgeous tassel at the bottom. If you aren't making, um, you know, if you don't make a good tassel, if you aren't using the right kind of tools to make those kind of necklaces and those kind of insp um, um, inspired pieces, you are you're not going to hit the mark quite right. And what I love so much about this is is as we've already said it's a companion it's there for you forever and it will yes. just sit there on your on your it will just sit there like that let's say you're not using it at all let's say you're not using it at all but you're but you're on your craft store and you're looking at a chain and so someone says to you how long is that chain oh i don't know where's my ruler i don't know what's down oh i don't know where it is if you've got your knotty dip tool, tool, something as simple as just going, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's eight yeah. inches in length. There you go, perfect. You've got it there. You've got that companion there. You've got that constant there. It makes you professional. It makes you organised, and it's such a good-looking tool. It's not one of those big, bulky, ugly-looking tools. It is absolutely, it's gorgeous. And it, it, you know, if you want to personalise it, you absolutely can do. But that is such an ingenious idea, isn't it? It's so simple. Eight chances remaining, and then it's completely sold out. Twenty-nine in baskets. I love it, Fleur, and I know that you love it, and I know you won't mind me saying that it's the only tool that we've ever bought to air that you have said that you would actually potentially sell one of your children for. 
Oh, no. Is she there? No, that's, that's Robot Flair. That <laughs> She's sitting there. <laughs> oh, it lost connection. We lost connection. Can you hear us? I can hear you now. Yeah, okay, just yes. lost connection. <laughs> you, did, you, did tell me, you did tell me that you would potentially sell one of your children for this board, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there happened. we go. Perfect. And now, oh, gosh. Happily. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd really offended you. And she was just going. <laughs> no, we just froze uh, on Fleur there. But massive congratulations, huge congratulations. And if you do have any questions, as you said at the end of your demo, by, which, by the way, we love looking at that lovely demo because, of course, you had your, um, the lovely shots at the end of the jewellery. Oh, did you like that? <laughs> that was a editor Fleur. And you said at the end of it, any problems at all, please visit my Facebook page. I mean, how professional. But if you do have any issues with this, do go to Fleur's Facebook page because she will talk the hind leg off a donkey about this tool, won't you, Fleur? I certainly will. This, people are trying to phone me. You can't see this, can you? No. That's all right. Who's trying to call you? Sorry. The vet's trying to call me now. The vet. Pick up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, with the, with the demos, it's um, it's been a, a, a steep learning curve, a very, very steep learning curve. Oh, love. You've been amazing. Um, You've done so well. Okay, we've got, I think, four left, and I've got over 30 still sitting in baskets. Massive congratulations. Well done. Okay, Fleur, so let's do the travel one, shall we? This is gorgeous. I love this one. And we had a question earlier on uh, from... Fran, I think it was, asking if we've got bundles for people who've already got the Naughty Do It All tool. Yes, we do, because we've got gemstone bundles coming up, just to let you know. So, yes, we do. Oh, gosh, it's actually really difficult to slide this across the desk, because those, those little feet on the bottom are really sticky, grippy, sticky, grippy, grippy, yippy. So, here we go. Oh, what am I doing? You've got the travel. Oh, look at this. I love it. The best knotting tool, the best cord knotting tool ever. Ever. Gorgeous. So this is the travel one, Fleur. This is adorable, isn't it? This one's great. This one actually fits inside most, well, nearly all of our bags that we do. You know our jewellery maker bags? I do. This, this one fits perfectly in there as well. And it's a great addition to your, to your sort of like normal size one because if you wanted to do longer necklaces, you can put the two of them together and just carry on then in a continuous length. Oh, wow. That's a great idea. Hang Oh, no, don't. Hang on, hang on. Let me, just, let me just grab it quickly. Hang on. So what you mean is get your board, get your board, and then do that. So make a really, really, really long piece of jewellery. Oh... Nice idea from guest designer Fleur there. Awesome. Um, yeah, so in this, sorry, with this, you are going to be getting, oh gosh, here we go. Uh, you've got your travel one. Again, you've got the DVD, the Naughty Do It All online instructional tutorials are available at. Um, your password is this. So you've got all of the instructions there. You've got access to the learning library as well. And your price today is this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, amazing. $59.95. Look at this. I've got some lovely designs which have been made by this lady here, Sandra Younger, who is the lady who designed this incredible tool. She looks very, very happy about it. What an amazing passing she's got. Uh, so here you've got your braided turquoise, macrame, braided multi-strand bracelet, pearl and bead knotting, overhead and moose knots, Nice. macrame and braid a little bit of everything the possibilities are endless the nutty do it all amazing so you've got all uh, that inspiration there but then tons of inspiration on your dvd the learning library and of course instagram pinterest all that kind of stuff amazing so 59 pounds and 95 pence for that that's absolutely brilliant loads of people coming through to get that i can imagine if you if you are a little bit uh, more tight on space this is going to be um absolutely brilliant um even more portable um, uh, than the other one. Really, really lovely tool. Um, unbelievably useful. And really the only difference between this and the larger one is the size and um, the little cutouts for the pots and the gully. Those are the only kind of main differences uh, that you're looking at. Am I right in saying that, Fleur? Yeah, that, that's, that's the only difference. You can do everything that you, um, you can do on the large one onto the smaller one. It's just that you can't design something on there because you haven't got that, that sort of like 
routed out groove for you to put your beads in and also the little the little pot holders to put your you know to put your gemstones in yeah. but apart from that it's exactly the same you can use it exactly the same as what you can the large one it's do you know it's so beautifully made as well it's got yeah. this kind of rigidity to it this kind of steadfastness to it where the pegs yeah. go in and they stay in they stay in there they're really nice and secure in there they're not going to go anywhere it's just really well made isn't it it's very very well made it's like i say it's, it's probably my favorite my favorite tool to use because it, it's so versatile whichever size you've got yeah lovely next we've got oh gosh oh right okay so for everyone who wants to make things on their naughty do it all boards these are really naughty these bundles that we're about to do we're not meant to have any of these by the way but oh well let's blame it on let's blame it on Fleur. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on Fleur. So, gorgeous rounds. These are exactly the kind of beads that I see in Marla style pieces. Love it, love it, love it. 10 mil rounds. Oh, what a gorgeous bundle. Under 10 pounds. What are you doing? Tom, what are you doing? You can't take this under 10 pounds. Whoa, that's enough. £49.80. That is not a bad price. All the way down, my lovelies. Here we go. £9.95. What, Carol, what are they again? I couldn't hear what they were. Four strands of 10 mil rounds. You're wow. getting three strands of frosted agate and a strand of terra jasper. Wow. Can you see oh, these strands, Fleur? Can you see how beautiful and frosted they are? I can't see any colours because my, my iPad's just gone off. And great. I can't see anything. Just great. Just great. We asked you, you got one job, Fleur. One job. <laughs> Do you know what? She's not, she's not even here and the wheels have definitely fallen off. <laughs> Gee whiz. It's better than the last video call you did with her, says Ollie. Why? What happened? Oh, that, was, that was just atrocious. Oh, no. What that happened? Was, um, you had to keep cancelling. What happened? Um, I, I didn't listen to the rules of don't have your iPad on with the sound up. Oh, oh, Fleur. <laughs> it's like um, when people call into I a radio a station and they've got themselves on the radio. You don't yeah. do that. You don't do that. Gee, where's fame-hungry Fleur Hastings? There we go. <laughs> anyway, uh, 9 95 there you are, everyone. Fantastic. <laughs> Loads of people coming through to get this. Ah, oh, I love her. Love her, 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 love her. Okay, fantastic. Well done, everybody. Brill. Have you cooked any amazing things during your time in isolation, Fleur? Um, yeah, I've actually been, I've not done any baking because I'm not really domestic. It's all right, don't worry. Um, but no, I've, I've managed to cook three meals a day for the children. Well done. <laughs> managed. You've managed to feed your children. That is quite an achievement. <laughs> I, well no, done, I, did, I did do a very nice macaroni cheese with well, love a macaroni cheese. and um, other cheeses that were starting to smell a little bit in the fridge. So you did basically a botulism cheese, uh, a macaroni botulism. Lovely. That's it, yeah. Lovely. But if you cook it at a certain temperature, I'm sure all the botulism will go. <laughs> You've cooked it off. You've burnt it off. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> Amazing. This is my Petri dish special. <laughs> oh, dear me. How's the alcohol consumption going, Fleur? Is it, is it constant? Can I rely on you? Or, is it, uh, or have you tapered off? Oh, no. Can you hear us? I can hear you again now. Yeah, yeah how's it keeps the, freezing. How's the alcohol consumption going? Oh, well... Um, or should we not yeah, talk about that? Yeah, it's okay, because Tesco's uh, delivered me a box of wine yesterday, so I'm all right now. I'm back on track. Gee whiz, thank goodness for that. But that, that was a close call, wasn't it? Back on track. Oh, I'm, I'm having, I, was, I was looking I'm at having eight having days. A, I'm having a box of wine delivered tomorrow as well by my local wine shop. Mm. My favourite wine. Gee whiz. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew I could rely on you, Fleur. I know, yeah. I knew I could rely on you and your... <laughs> Your, uh... I did see a recipe that, that, asked, that said that you had to put wine in it, so oh, I, no. I missed that one because I can't waste but, the no, wine. No, you don't want to waste it. it. No, absolutely no. not. 
<laughs> who are these savages who put wine into food? Wine's for drinking. So here we go. Um, 16 mega nylon bundle. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Great. Haven't got enough. Um, hang on. 14. Hang on. I don't know where the others are. I've got... Oh, no. I've got 18 now. Oh, no. It's a lot. Oh, no. Hang on. Two, two four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. And then two of these. I don't know which ones. That's a separate bundle. Oh, hang on. Are they bright orange and bright green, perhaps? No. Okay. You're getting two more. Um, there we go. Uh, so 16 in total. You'll get some surprise colours as well. <sighs> Should be. 63 pounds and 20 pence. Can I just say... We bring you the kind of prices where, to be able to get this kind of Eslon cord, because you can get Eslon cord elsewhere, to be able to get this anywhere else for the kind of prices that we do. I mean, it is unbelievable what we do with the prices on these. Um, obviously, for making your tassels, for your pearl knotting, for your macrame, for your kumihimo, for your micro macrame, for that lovely um, crocheting technique that we saw earlier on with um, guest designer Fleur. $29.95 for you today. Well done. And the great thing about your Eslon is it's man-made, so you can use your thread zapper with it, can't you, Fleur? Say that again, Carol, sorry. Sorry, it's man-made, so you can use it with your thread zapper. That's the great thing about oh, your Eslon. Yeah, you can definitely, because um, you can melt the ends of this, so yeah, your thread zapper or just a normal light if you're very careful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thread zapper is brilliant because it's a man-made nylon fibre, so it'll just melt and finish the ends perfectly. Any tips on when you're making your tassels, what to do with this? Do I have to condition it? Do I have to straighten it out? What do I have to do with it? No, the only thing that I would say is once you've done um, a knotted piece, um, mm. even if it's if it's a marla or something like um, a macrame or a long line necklace, yeah, I just submerse mine into some warm water just to relax the fibres and just hang it and let gravity just like pull it straight. Because because it's a nylon fibre, sometimes it can be um, it can go a little bit kinked as you're as you're making something so yeah. i just like i say pop it into some water mm. let it soak a little bit and then hang it up so that it then just like gravity helps then get your, your tassels nice and straight do you know what fleur i wish that if i had a nice warm bath um i'd come out nice and straight as well <laughs> uh, well, does it work for people as well if i submerse myself in water and i come out will i be nice and kind of wrinkle free free and blemish free <laughs> i don't think so can you imagine that? <laughs> Get me on the rack after the uh, after a nice warm bath. Anyway, uh, twenty nine ninety five. Oh, Ollie, grow up! Right. Anyway, sorry, they're being very rude in there. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Right. What we're going to do now? Fleur's kit from the twelve o'clock hour. But well, where is it? It's the pearls. Okay. Fleur, you've got some lovely kits that you've been working with here. <gasps> Haven't you? I've got a be this kit is beautiful. And the earring kit that as well is beautiful. Say again, lovely. The, the ear sorry, say that again, Fleur. The my my earring kit that I got with it as well was absolutely beautiful. I've not really seen these kind of earring kits before, and they're absolutely stunning to work with. They are absolutely good. Is it both of these, Tom? Right, raspberry ripple. So your raspberry ripple kit has got pearls, morganite, and you've got sterling silver findings, and you've also got silk. This is, this is premium, premium stuff, isn't it? Wow. Oh, I'm just going to put the necklace oh. on the mannequin so you can see. Ah. So this ever that's... prepared. Oh, what have you made there? But talk us through that piece, Fleur. That's absolutely glorious. So this is. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it a little bit closer in a second. This is okay. a station necklace. Um, so you can you you can wear it sort of like multiple ways if you like. You can sort of like have it shorter and longer as well. But oh. You can see you can you can sort of like really change the design of it. Um, it's using all the pearls and nearly all the morganite. Um, and all two meters of my silk as well. Mm. So it's a real beautiful, substantial piece of jewelry. If I just yeah. bring it down and I can show you. 
So each each little oh. section is a little station, if you like. So you've got these perfect little stations in between, oh, um, wow. in between a pearl morganite and pearl. So yeah. it's really beautiful. It's really feminine, gorgeous kit. Really, really gorgeous. And you've and you've and you presumably knotted those stations on your knotty do it all board. Yeah, I, on the demo, I used um, the tinker spacers, yeah. but you can definitely use the um, Naughty Do It All for that as well. Oh, wow. What a great, great kit. I haven't seen you make pearl jewellery like that before, actually. It's, it, it's quite a different piece for you. It's, 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 um, yeah. it's, I, I suppose the temptation would be with a kit like this would be to pearl knot everything and to kind of have it quite classic. But in actual fact, I love what you've done. It gives it a lovely contemporary twist, doesn't it? And it makes a feature it, of the it, silk, it, it which is nice. You can wear pearls without having sort of like overload of pearls and, and gemstones. It just gives that really nice little um, nod to a contemporary design. Absolutely. It really does give the pearls a lovely contemporary look and it really makes a feature of that gorgeous uh, delicate pink silk. The findings that you're getting are all sterling silver. Um, do you know what, Tom? I don't even care how much this kit is. Um, I just, I just, I just, I just want to get it. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? But what do you mean put it this way? Right, how much low? Yeah, how much lower than that are you going, Tom? Just think very carefully before you do what you're about to do. Thirty-four pounds sixty, and we're going lower. How low are you going? How low are you going? You're not going below thirty. Nineteen ninety-five. What have you done? You complete. What have you That's done? Good night. What? How is that even possible? They're beautiful pearls as well, Carol. Really beautiful. The morganite is worth more than that. The pearls are worth more than that. The findings pack on its own. The findings pack and the silk, I'd be happy to pay nineteen ninety-five for. But you're getting all of it today. That's amazing. I've only got 32 of this kit, Flair. That's it. Once it's gone, it's gone. Oh, so 41 of this kit, sorry. 41 of this kit. That is absolutely tremendous. That is brilliant. And the Morganite Fleur, talk to us about the Morganite, because I know you're a huge fan of this incredible gem. Yeah. I have to say, yeah. I love the variety of pinks you're getting here. Oh, lovely shot from um, uh, Michael there. You get a lovely variety of colours. It's so much more interesting than, say, just a rose quartz, isn't it? It's got lovely variety in there. Yeah. It's such a, it's such a beautiful feminine gemstone, that Morganite. It really is, and it's... Yeah. It's, you know, and the best thing about the Morganite, I've used it with the pearls, but it's got a very generous drill hole. So if you wanted to use your S line and do nice. like a Marla style bracelet with it, you could do. Yeah, gorgeous. Give us an idea, Flo, because I know that you sell your pieces, um, although not at, not at, you're not going to any big kind of um, uh, events at the minute. That, that necklace that you've made there, how much would you, how much would you sell that necklace for? This one would probably be about, about £75. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So you're literally doubling your money with that kit. Yeah. This kit, you were just talking about the earring findings. This kit is pretty much exactly the same, yeah. apart from the findings. I love, I love, can I just say, the kits that we've had this week have been absolutely tremendous. We have those beautiful kits with Claire McDonald, beautiful kits with Alison Terry, gorgeous kits this morning with Fleur. It's been absolutely fantastic. So you've got here Morganite Genuine Freshwater Culture Pearls. And you've also got these earring findings. Now, these are the earring findings that presumably you haven't seen before, um, well, for a long time in a kit. Gorgeous earring. Oh, brilliant. Oh, wow. Oh, now they're really nice. Oh, they're, they're really young. I like the look of those. So I, I, I changed the, um, the round earring findings that are like your hoops. I just did a, another loop on the end of those and then just brought them together so that you can then have like a... Um, a feature of them so it's using two lots of bearing findings but I think it just gives you a little bit of a different look to it yeah I think you're absolutely right I love what you've done there so you've effectively got um, one, two, three, four pairs of earring findings here in three different designs. You've got your jump rings as well which are really really useful and then, uh, and then you've got your beautiful um, uh, uh, not heavy gauge but you've got your really really substantial beautiful um, head pins as well. This kit yeah. I've only got 32 of. Again, it's going to be an amazing price. Oh, we've got a question for you, Fleur, from Tom. <laughs> Don't you... Yes, Hang Tom. On. What? <laughs> Tom's just said, shall we take the kit to the same price as the last kit? Okay, enjoy. 
I've got 32 available, 1995. That's you, brilliant. You know and I know, if this, if this Morganite was deal of the day, the lowest price that would be would be 29.95. You but know, you know what's not. so nice about mm. these two kits as well, Go Carol, on. is yeah. you could make that long line necklace, but you can also make a matching bracelet and earrings all of the same, because oh it's the same, um, exactly the same organite, exactly the same pearls, so they're yeah. not different in colour or textures or anything else. You can actually make a full suite of jewellery and use, because I only used one of the findings from my original kit in, you know, in the, with the silk. Yeah. You could use the rest of the findings to make a bracelet and everything else to go with it. So you've got, over the two kits, enough to make a full suite of jewellery, which for me would be, is, well, I said 75 for the, for the um, necklace. The earrings themselves would be £20 at least, but this um, is, you know, with that sterling silver. This so is it. If it's you, such a money maker. If, if, you it know, is. If that's what and, if you can, and if you can make a suite of jewellery, if you sell a necklace, you will sell a necklace and a pair of earrings and a bracelet um, separately. You'll, you'll make a certain amount of money. But if you make a suite of jewellery, it becomes an entire collection. And that's yeah. where you can really start to make some... Um, um, some serious profit. This is just a great, great, great couple of kits. They've both completely sold out. Fleur, you've been incredible today. Thank you're, you. You're Thank next you for having me on your show. Bless you, darling. Oh, bless her. So you're next with us on Sunday. Sunday show, yes. Oh, fantastic, darling. Well, look, have a great show on Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your day. And many thanks, Fleur. It's Thank been you. Uh, It's been fantastic having you with us. Thank you so much, darling. Take care. Bye. Isn't she amazing? Isn't she amazing? Great teacher, fantastic energy, love her. Now, we've got four left of the Naughty Do It All bundle. So 99.95 gets you the Naughty Do It All board, all of these gemstones, all uh, 50 meters of, of, of one millimeter gauge wire, all of that S long cord, your silver plated base metal findings. Um, it is the best deal we could ever have bought you. Next hour, last in stock amber in the next hour. We're looking at quantities of twos, threes, fours. You know, they're all going to go. Designs that you might not have seen before. Designs that you may have seen just once. Designs which have been very, very popular and once fallen back into stock for whatever reason. Don't go anywhere. So we're going to look at Fleur's demo and then we're going to come straight back with our last in stock amber. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Hello, guest designer Fleur here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful station necklace or tin cup necklace. So as you can see, they're all pearl knotted onto there. We've got our gorgeous pearls and our beautiful morganites. So this one is quite a long necklace, so it could be worn in lots of different ways. What I'm going to do at the end of the video, I'm going to photograph different ways that it could actually be worn on my mannequin. So you could either double it up or you could have it um, as one single long line necklace. So to make this, we have everything in the kit that we need. The only things we need to add are two small um, three or four millimeter sterling silver beads and a little bit of French wire. Um, everything else is in your kit, so you get your silk, your gemstones and your pearls and a findings pack. The other thing that we're going to need for equipment wise, we're going to utilise one of these little um, not a bead tin cup spacers. Now they come in two different sizes, so you get both of them in the packet. Um, I'm going to use a smaller one, the half inch one. If you don't have any of these, then you can use just a little bit of cardboard um, to just go around the silk just to, to measure it, or something like your Knotty Do It All board or your knotting station from Beadsmith or a Beadalon. Um, both do a product where it measures how much of a gap you've got in between. So we're going to use our tweezers for this technique. So with your tweezers, um, anything that's not like an eyebrow tweezer um, is perfect, so, and nothing with serrations on the inside. So these are straight knotting tweezers, you can get curved knotting tweezers as well. Need a pair of scissors just to cut off our silk. Um, the, the finer the nose, the better. Um, we're going to use a little bit of our um, hypersomate glue. Um, you could e either use this or E6000. Never use a glue that's super though because that will rot through the silk. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started with actually making this beautiful necklace. So what I need is I'm going to take my silk and we're going to just stretch this silk. So I've taken it all off the um, off of the 
card. Now the only thing we don't stretch is by the needle that's here, but the rest of it we're going to go through and stretch so that it's nice and taut in between your fingers. Now what this does is it's doing two things, it's looking for any abnormalities on the actual uh, silk itself, but it's also um, stretching it to stop it stretching as much when it's being worn as a necklace. Okay, so that's that ni nicely stretched. Okay, so the first thing we need is we need a little piece of our French wire. So I've got a little piece there. We need one of our um, seed beads or metal, metal bead and a jump ring. Okay, so I'm using a jump ring because then I can attach the clasp to the other side of the ju to a jump ring and obviously we need a jump ring to attach the clasp to when it's worn. We also need a little crimp cover just so that we can cover that first knot up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the actual necklace out of the way so it doesn't get caught on anything. And I've moved my tin cup spacer to the side. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to pop on my metal bead. Okay, so that's the first thing that goes on. And bring that all the way down to the bottom so that it's near to the edge, but it's not going to fall off of the edge. The next thing we're going to pick up is the French wire. So again, picking up that French wire and I'm holding on to the French wire between my thumb and my first finger and bringing that down to the bottom. If you don't hold on to the French wire, what can happen is it can get caught or snagged on anything. And if you're using stone and silver French wire, we don't want to waste that. So we want to keep that as perfect as we can. So there's our French wire down to the bottom. And then we're going to pop our jump ring on. Okay. So the jump ring then again can go all the way down to the bottom. So that we've now got our little list of components if you like. So we've got our bead, we've got our French wire, don't worry that the jump ring's gone the other side of the French wire, that doesn't matter. So we've got our bead, our French wire and our jump ring. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the needle and we're going to go back through the metal bead going towards the tail end of the silk. So we're just going to go all the way around, we've so gone back through that metal bead, bringing that all the way around and do this nice and slowly so that the silk doesn't get caught on anything. So bring that all the way down. And what will happen when it gets closer to the bottom, that little piece of French wire now, when I pull the end, what will happen is it will start to curve around and make a little protective horseshoe, if you like, or a little protective um, area against from the silk to the jump ring. So you can see now that we can't see any of that silk at all. It's encapsulated within the French wire, which means that this part here, which is the most vulnerable part of the necklace, won't wear as quick because that, that little piece of French wire is protecting it. So now I'm going to do an overhand knot. And another one just over the top to secure everything in place. Okay, so that's my two knots. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my glue. And I'm just going to glue the knot itself. So just a little dab of glue. A little dab of glue. And then up this end here where it's the tail end, I'm just going to wipe the excess glue onto there. Now the reason why I'm doing that is that when this dries, it will then dry clear and, um, and solid. So when I cut through it, I won't have a halo of silk around, around the actual piece. I'm just going to pop the lid back on the glue. Now, ideally, we would let this dry completely before we pop the crimp cover on. But what we're going to do is, just for, just for the speed of the demo, we're just going to pop on our little crimp cover but like I say usually you would wait for all of this to dry before you'd start then going ahead with your design but you can see now how from the outside that little crimp cover covers that very first knot and everything else in there so what you would do then is taking your flat nose pliers 
just work from side to side and just start to bring that together as soon as you can see it's coming together just using the pliers front and back just keep nibbling it round so that that now has now encapsulated that very first knot and we've got a nice neat look. Now I'm not going to cut this little tail end off yet, I'm going to wait right till the very end and then cut that off. Okay, never cut anything really that's got wet glue on it because the what happens with the um, glue is it, it makes this, the material wet and it then swells up the fibres within there so the knot could come undone if we're not careful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring over our pot of um, beautiful pearls and morganites and we're going to add on a trio of gemstones so we're going to pop on one of our pearls and if, it, if the pearls are just a little bit um, tight going over the top of that needle they will go over you just have to just give them a little push and they will go over if you feel like though that it's going to snap or break obviously stop uh, and choose a different pearl it may be that there's a little bit of um, pearl dust in there so what you can do is take your reamer and just ream through that pearl so I've got my trio in place I'm going to bring those all the way down to the bottom again so there's my first little trio now using my tweezers to knot what I'm going to do is do my overhand knot now so what I'm doing is I'm bringing the silk all the way around my hand I'm just going to lift that a little bit so you can see there we go so bring the silk all the way around my hand and do an overhand knot exactly the same as what I would be doing if I was going to use uh, my knotting all so I've now got my overhand knot and my pearls are here. Now taking my tweezers, I'm going to go through the loop of the overhand knot and hold on to the top of the pearls or the trio of gemstones as tight as they will go. And I'm taking my hand that I'm not using, so in my case my left hand, I'm going to tighten that silk so it's knotted the tweezers completely on top of those pearls okay and then what I'm going to do is rest on it on the pad of my finger and taking out my tweezers so we've still got the knot here right, let me just move that little bit of silk so you can see what, I can, what I'm doing so the knot is still on the top what I'm going to do now is put my tweezers back in over the top of the pearls and I'm not going to move the tweezers I'm pulling the silk up okay so you can see that how it tightened that down perfectly okay and there's my first knot in place all right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to trim down this little tail end so it's not as um it's not in the way as much so now we've got our first little trio so now what we need to do is we need to work out how to use our little um spacer bar so this has actually got a little slit in the top so what we do is we actually pop the silk into the actual spacer bar itself that now gives me that half an inch um, gap between the pearls and my next knot so I'm going to do my next knot now so obviously no gemstones have gone on yet because I need to just knot that in place make sure that it they stay with that gap so again I have my my loop for my um, my knot Put the tweezers through, hold on to the top of the sponge of the um, spacer bar, tighten that down, take it off, take the tweezers out, resting it on the palm of my hand or the pad of my finger, whichever is more comfortable. Pop my tweezers back in at the top of the knee, at the top of the knot, and pull the silk. So we're not going to start to push the the tweezers down the silk because that will shred the silk when I take this out we've there got a perfect little gap so what we can do now is we can take our needle and again we can pop on our next trio so we're going to pop on one of our pearls 
Now you've noticed that I'm doing the pearl and then the morganite and then the pearl. Now the reason why I'm doing it this way around rather than the other way around is the pearl has the smallest drill hole. The morganite has quite a generous drill hole, which means that the knot of the silk won't sit on the outside of the morganite. So I have to do it the other way around so that the knot sits on the outside of the um, of the pearl but it doesn't sit on the outside of the morganite. If that was the other way around, this knot here would disappear inside the actual morganite itself. So hence why I'm doing it this way around. And again, overhand knot. Taking the tweezers, go through the loop of the knot, holding onto the top of my trio, pulling that nice and tight taking it on the pad of my hand, pushing down my tweezers on top and pulling the silk up to actually tighten that knot. And there we've got our next little trio. And then again, from a trio, we then need our little gap. So again, using my little tin cup spacer, another overhand knot, tweezers through the loop of the knot, holding onto the top of the sponge, Tighten the knot, resting it on the pad of your finger, tweezers back in over the top of that knot, pushing it down and pull that silk. So we're not going to move the tweezers up and down, we're not going to shred that silk, we're just moving that knot so you can see there's my knot. I'm going to take that out, I've got the same gap as what I had last time. So I'll just do it one more time for my next trio. What's going on? So, my pearl. My morganite. My pearl. Bring that all the way down to the bottom. Overhand knot. Tweezers through the loop on top of the last pearl of the trio, tighten that silk up, resting it on the pad of your finger, tweezers over the top, pull that silk up, and there we've got our next little gap. So we can see there now that we've got three trios, and you would just carry on till you get to the end of your necklace. On the very last trio that you're going to do, you don't put a knot on there and then you follow what we did to start with. So you put your metal bead, your French wire, your jump ring back through the metal bead and then at the end we're going to just split that silk in half. So when you cut it off, and I just use this little bit here that I've cut just to show you. When you get through that metal seed bead, if you untwine silk, it goes into two twines if you like. So what you're going to do is bring those all the way down to the bottom and then use these two to make a knot either side of the of the between the pearl and the and the the last spacer bead. And finish that off with a little bit of glue and then a crimp cover over the end and you've got a beautiful necklace of tin cup spaced or station necklace that you can then wear. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration. Wasn't that awesome? Isn't she great? Well done. Massive congratulations to everyone who got those gorgeous kits. You got the Naughty Do It All as well. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right, okay. Now we've got Last in Stock Amber. We've got Last in Stock Amber coming up, which looks absolutely ridiculous. But we do have a couple of Marla bundles left, including, oh my gosh, is it this one? No, the other one. 15. Oh my word. Oh my. Well, what's that then? I don't know. There's an enormous one in there. Eight mil Marla Notting bundle. So. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine strands of eight mil gemstones. And then an 18 mil strand as well, because I think Tom might have misread the sizes. So they're all 8 mils, apart from this one here, which is your 18 mils. Absolutely, Ollie. These are your guru beads, your marker beads. He looks like a, is it Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Oh, I don't know, really? Like <gasps> the throat the throw with water on it. Possibly. I think so. £131.50. pence. Michael is looking at this and thinking that there are similarities to these gorgeous frosted blue agates and thinking that they look like Europa, which is one of whose moons? Jupiter's moons. Jupiter's moons? Yeah. Well, that sounds exciting. What? 19 95 Goodness me! Get it added to your order. How many have we got? Are we really not number? Oh, my word. 25 chances available. They are flying out the door. And Diane, Veronica, Hazel, Lorna, Sinead, Nicole, Sheila... This is two quid. Two quid. Two quid. Wibble wobble. Uh, well done, everyone. Jacqueline, Samina, Janet, Hazel, Claire, Rita, Pauline. Well done to Jeanette. Well done to Nicole, Sheila, Anonymous, Anne. There's millions of you coming through. Amazing. £19.95. Well done. Well <laughs> done. Oh, gosh. Oh, me and Ollie were just. <laughs> Me and Ollie, were just, Ollie and I were just um, laughing outside at the, um, who is it, is it on Bo Selector? We were, looking at the, we were looking at the flowers in the garden, weren't we? The forget-me-nots. We saw a hare. No, no, I, th I think it might have just have been a rabbit. It was just a rabbit. We just saw, we saw a lovely rabbit with a little cotton tail. Cute. Ollie saw a duck. We saw a munt jack earlier on. Munt jack earlier on, that was nice. Gorgeous. Uh, and we've got this parasite. One, two, hang on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strands of your ten mil rounds. Oh my word, what price is he going to do for this? Should be 150 pounds and 50 pence. Do you think we're going to stay there? Forget it. All the way down, my lovelies. Here we go. 26 pounds and 95 pence. These deals are cray cray. They are cray cray. Uh, well done. Lapis blue varicite, malachite green varicite, parrot green varicite. Var var <laughs> wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Uh, Sarah, Annette, Claire, Diane, Rita, Kim, Claire, Jackie, Sarah. Well done. Amazing. Brilliant deal for you today. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everybody. £26.95. Stop shouting at me, Tom. Amazing. Well done, everyone. Helen in Swansea. Well done to you. Well done to Rita. Well done to you as well, my lovely. Denise in Norfolk. Beverly in Norfolk. Well done. Linda in Merseyside. Well done to you, Fiona in Hampshire. Jackie in Kent. Well done, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Well done at £26.95. Well done, everybody. We really love Amber. We do love Amber. It's coming up. Oh yeah, we really love Amber. Da, e, e, a. No, it's this one. It's number 16, actually, Tom. You said 15. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, oh no. Hang on. The windmills of your mind. The windmills of your mind. So, Clear Quartz Collection. Whoa, seven strands. Wow, look at all of these. Rondells. Oh, round, 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 get around. I get around. Oh, round, round, get around. I get around. We get around. They're round clear quartz. Oh, they're, they're round clear quartz. 
I done a round, round, round. Look at all of these. Oh, wow. That is a strand of bubbles. Gorgeous. What a gorgeous collection. You're right there, Michael. You, you're it's looking like at that aghast. It's like a waterfall. It's like a what? Proper waterfall. It's like a really It is. Intense. Watery waterfall. Have you ever seen a frozen waterfall? <gasps> it's pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Pretty cool stuff. Look at that. Ooh. A moon bow? No, I've never seen a moon bow. Is that like a rainbow? Oh, it's made by water by the moon. Oh, gosh, that sounds absolutely gorgeous. I want to go there. Uh, so, Clear Quartz Collection. Here we go today. Amazing price point. Here we go, Tom. <laughs> and depending on what threading material you use, it will take on the character of that threading material. It will be absolutely gorgeous. Over 1,000 carats of your gemstones here. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful quality. There you are, my lovelies. Look at that. 428 a strand, 29.95. I put this on, you know, we've got these really cool threading materials. We've got bright pink, got beautiful psychedelic yellow, orange. You know, and if you put those through, <laughs> very 80s, isn't it? If you put that through your clear quartz, they will shine those. Uh, they will emit those beautiful colours out of the um, surface of the gemstone because, of course, the core is still uh, clear and clarityful. Gorgeous. 29.95. Well done, everyone. Loads of people coming through to get that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done. Gorgeous. Well done. 0800 644 Amazing. Let's get physical, physical. So it's been covered, has it? Oh. Oh, it's, oh, it's a different song. Oh, it's, oh, sorry. <gasps> Midnight Rutile Quartz. What? I've never even heard of it. Michael Wolf, I can imagine you wearing this. <laughs> I can imagine you wearing this. Look at that. Gorgeous. Midnight rutilated quartz plain rounds. It's the first time I've ever seen midnight rutile quartz. <laughs> so you've got these gorgeous rutilated inclusions going on inside the gemstone. And it's got those lovely stormy colours. Beautiful, stormy, stormy colours you're getting there. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful quality. Three strands in total. Let's get that price point in, shall we, my lovelies? Amazing. Should be 89.85. But guess what? We're gonna we're gonna what? Smash it out of the ballpark. That is uh, Tom's words, not mine. Gee, where's careful with that camera? I was just getting, got excited. He got very excited there. Goodness me, 16.95. There you are, my lovelies. Diane and Mama, she's got two of these. She can't get enough of it. Well done, Collector in Berkshire, Collector in the West Midlands. Kim, Terry, Collector, Janice, Isabel, Hazel, Magalie, Angela, Collector, Emma, Julie, Rita, Deborah, Kim, Sheila. Gee whiz, there's loads of people coming through. Well done, everybody. You're doing so well. If you want to make those monochrome pieces, those lovely steampunk pieces... Yes, then get this. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Beautiful quality. Amazing. Well done for £16.95. Well done. Oh, yes, please. That sounds like fun. A Marla Notting DVD. Only <clears throat> 31 available. So if you want to make your Marla Knotted piece, this DVD is going to help you. Your Marla Notting DVD with guest designer Fleur Hastings. Uh, you've got here types of Marla, the Marla Knot, making tassels, bead cap, bracelets. Loads of great tuition on here. You can choose what beads to use, what size, what shape. Um, it's, it's all... Um, it's all uh, very much up to you, the kind of look that you want to go for. But the basic principle is the same. Oh, bless you, sweetie. 4 95 for your DVD today. Well done, my lovelies. Well done. Fantastic. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. £4.95. Anyone who came through to get the um, Naughty Do It All board today, I would be getting the DVD. 
you don't really use tools for marlin knotting. You're absolutely right. I mean, use your use your um, uh, uh, your knotty do it all tool by all means, uh, but you don't necessarily have to use those. Um, it's really really peaceful, very very mindful making jewelry um, uh, doing your marlin knotting. Nicola, Audrey, Heath, Stephanie, Laura, Suzanne, Claire, Julie, Eunice. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Why not? Get involved, everyone. Superb. Oh, gosh, wow. All right, don't worry. Nylon cord. Nylon, nylon cord. Nylon, nylon cord. Nylon, nylon cord. Nylon, nylon cord. I know, I did say, I have said this throughout the last couple of days. Producer Tom is putting together the best bundles I've ever seen in my life. They are amazing. You wait for Friday's show. Concrete, concrete jewelry, concrete, concrete jewelry, concrete, concrete jewelry, concrete, concrete jewelry. It's well hard. And uh, our homework as well, Michael. I'm having a good old think about it. Well, I'm taking, I'm taking the hamburger, ham, hamburger one oh, home. You are taking the hamburger. Yeah. Oh, literally, I've, I've been thinking about that. Have you? Sure okay. You well, you, okay. You no, take the hamburger. No. You take the hamburger no, one. No, Carol. Do you want the ice cream one, or shall I do the ice cream and the hamburger? Yeah, ice cream and the hamburger. Yeah, it's fine. I can do them both. Yeah, but I'll, what are you going to do? Oh, nothing. Things. I'll, I'll give you the hamburger bomb. No. Yep. No. Yep. Not, not a chance. Yep. Okay, nylon cord bundle, lemongrass. No. Rust. Rust. Shanghai red. Hmm. Well, no. No, that's not Shanghai red. Um. Red nutmeg, sand, sepia, sienna, and orange. Has how many are you getting, love? Two, four, six, seven, eight, oh gosh, there's so many. I don't know whether. Oh, you're getting two more, lovelies. Okay, so you've got lots of lovely. The photographs, right? Let me. Oh, I can't even go to the website, can I? Oh, it's all falling apart. Um, should be thirty-one pounds sixty pence. Why can't I even go to the website? It's weird, isn't it? I don't know why. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Uh, anyway, so here we go. Price point. 14.95. So you're getting nine. I know I've only got two, four, six, seven here, but you're getting two more. Sorry. 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 But they're lovely colours, aren't they? Such lovely nuances of difference. Like these two are ever so slightly different in colour. Um, and you get um, slightly different gauges as well. You've got your point 0.4 and your point 0.9. Your point 0.4 you might want to do your tassels with. Your point 0.9 you might want to do your knotting with. Or, or vice versa. It's entirely up to you depending on the size of the gem, the bead. Or how long you want the tassel to be. Or what you're going to be doing with it. But um, you've got different gauges in there to work with. Which is always a nice thing to have. The opportunity to do. 14.95, well done. Loads of people coming through. Lots of people adding to their orders. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Fantastic. Right, Tom, what are we doing next, love? Three. Right, this is the bright yellow. Fluorescent yellow. Like the brightest yellow ever. Michael, shield your eyes. Did you? Ollie used to have a guitar this colour. Gosh, was that during the 90s? Possibly. Did you put some surf stickers on it? No? Okay. 100 of these available. Yellow nylon cord. I tell you something, you are not going to miss that. That is, you're never going to lose that, are you? Price point. One pound. Thank you, Michael. That's an amazing price. That was like a supermarket announcement. Quick, come down to aisle seven for your yellow nylon cord. It's only one pound. Limited to two per customer. Gorgeous, well done. One pound. It's a pound. It's a pound. Well done, everyone. Get involved. Get involved. Uh, woo -woo -woo -woo. Uh, get involved either on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or by getting involved on our app, or by calling us on our free phone number. Use your 30-day money-back guarantee, because it is extended to June this year, so you have an extended 30-day money-back guarantee. Great for your summer holiday jewellery, because, of course, we're all going really far afield for our summer holidays this year. Yeah, if you wanted to mix it maybe with some dark green or, or black, maybe it would really tone this colour down. I don't know why you would want to tone it down. I want to put it with the pink. I want to put it with the yellow. You've got your Ibiza colours here, everyone. I want to get physical. Physical. Oh, 
gotta get physical. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 hey! Pound! What? What are we doing? Oh, we got some lovely photos. We have been asking for photographs. We've been asking for some photographs of pets. Your scene, your, 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 a stick insect. Is this Fleur who sent this in? Guest designer Fleur sent in a stick insect. Ah, oh, I tell you, if I had a stick insect, I'd have to call him Sticky. Sticky. Sticky the stick insect. I don't know who that is. What, what were her stick insects called? You call him Woody? I call him MDF. Oh. Oh. Lily. She's 13 and going deaf. She looks good for 13. Or, or it could be Thistle. We don't know. Oh, that's Lily. Yeah, that's definitely Lily. Oh, my God. Look at her. Don't bother me. Just leave me alone. And, that, and that's who? Thistle. 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 This is from Deborah. Her name was Deborah. Deborah. Oh! Popular. It never suited you. Oh, on a naughty do it all, she's making a tree of life. Trees of our lives, Michael. How amazing. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much for sending that photograph in. Here's a parrot. Jake. Oh my gosh, I love the fact you've got a parrot called Jake. Is that a McCall? I think it is. So, this is Ollie's other cat, Echo. Now, Echo is holding an egg. Now, um, oh, you're going to have to remind me, Ollie. So, your niece was uh, given an egg as a project for psychology. Now, it's about attachment, and uh, this egg has been on some journeys. And, um, and uh, Echo seems to have taken a liking to this egg. And seeing this photograph on television... Um, you can take a photograph of it and use it in your, in, in your, in your psychology project. Wh wh which of your nieces is it? Havana. And it's all about attachment. That's a lovely egg. Looks like a very happy egg. Her younger sister painted it, really? Ah, that's amazing. That's gorgeous. Well, I think that's amazing. Lovely egg gate. And Echo looks very happy. How old is Echo? Echo's five. How old's... We've got another pug. Oh! Oh, my gosh. That Rocky smoking a cigar. And that's Rambo. Oh, my gosh. That's the cutest <laughs> pug ever. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Is he wearing a hat? Is he wearing a hat? Is he wearing a hat? Or is that his fur? Is that his fur? Oh my gosh, that's the cutest. It's the cutest pug I've ever seen. They're both unbelievably cute. This is Kuma from Jill. Oh look! <laughs> wow! Oh, that dog's about to drive that car. That looks like a Baxter. Is that a Baxter? We don't know. Baxter! Bark twice if you're in Milwaukee. Gorgeous. Oh, another one. Oh, look. Look at that gorgeous putty cat. Oh, look. This is from Roz. Oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's a gorgeous dog. That's an action shot. Ruby and the legs of Neil. <laughs> and this is Rocket. Oh, hello, Rocket. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Email more photographs of your pets to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Make sure you send your photographs as an attachment. Otherwise, we can't show them. Friday. If you have any polymer clay pieces of jewellery, email... Car yeah. 
let's do um so if you've made some polymer clay pieces email a photograph of those polymer clay pieces to carol.roach at jewelrymaker.com carol c-a-r-o-l dot roach r-o-a-c-h-e at jewelrymaker.com take a photograph of your polymer clay pieces email carol.roach at jewelrymaker.com and we'll show them on friday get in there what have we got rusty oh my gosh oh did we see a photograph of rusty yesterday but without the bunny ears. Oh my gosh, that dog does not look happy with that. Get it off! Get it off! Evil cat. Oh no, that's a lovely cat! <gasps> that's a beautiful putty cat. What's that cat called? Benjamin. Of course. It, look, it, it looks like a Benjamin. Any more? Oh, little budgies. Who? Henny? And Missy, oh my gosh, she's sitting on a light fitting. Why not? <laughs> if I was a budgie, I'd sit in, in places like that. Defo. Right, should we get going? <laughs> amber, Amber. Go on, Michael. There seems to be a lot. Oh, yeah, we really. Oh, yeah, we really love Amber. Oh, yeah, we really love Amber. It's 40 to 100 million is a hole. It's so magic, it's abracadabra. <laughs> Amazing. Two available Baltic Cognac Amber Round. 12 mil cabochon that you're going to be getting here. 4 95 Get involved, get involved. Come with me and you'll see. It's a world of pure imagination. Diana and Madeline, well done to you, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Here we go. This. Perfect charm. Mm. Perfect, perfect charm. It's the hands of sign hand charm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? How many of these do we have, lovely? Three available. Absolutely gorgeous quality. Look at that beautiful sterling silver design you're going to be getting there with that amber in the middle. Recognised as a sign of protection in many times throughout history. <gasps> oh, and that's meant to be an eye in the centre of the palm there. It's absolutely gorgeous. An eye through the middle of the palm. The ancient symbol is popular, uh, popularly used in jewellery. A Middle Eastern talisman in all religions, it is a protective symbol. A simple symbol. Gorgeous. <laughs> Look at these beauties. I am a really love amber. So you've got your gorgeous amber silver moon. <gasps> you know, the more you hate it, the more I'm going to do it. <laughs> 14.95. Michael, do you really love amber? Oh, yes, I really do. Gorgeous, you've got your amber round pin set into your beautiful sterling silver crescent moon design. $14.95, there you are, my lovely. Gorgeous. Um, oh, a flame behind it. If only I had a naked flame. Sharon, collector, Jennifer, collector, collector, Madeline, Kathy. It's Why don't you, my lovely? A message of the day. A message of the day. Julie in Merseyside. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? My name's Michael. Oh, why is it? Have you heard our, um, have you heard our amazing uh, Amber song, um, Danny? Oh, yeah, we really love Amber. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> okay, that, well, that's right. Should we move on then, Tom? Yeah? Gee, relicas. Oh, now I've got one of these. <laughs> Here we go. Baltic cognac amber with a large insect. Oh, my word. Two available. You've got your magnification device. 
It's all right. Not very good at doing this, am I? Sorry. There it is. There it is. Oh, legs. Legs. 9.95. There you go. Oh, Dickie Attenborough would have liked that one, wouldn't he? He would have made that into a, a dinosaur theme park. When did he pass away? Was it, was it, it was recently, wasn't it? No, Dickie Attenborough, R Richard Attenborough. A couple of years ago. Oh my gosh. I love, I mean, David Attenborough, he is, they're just going to have to keep him alive forever, David Attenborough, aren't they? He's amazing. He is a national treasure. Oh, wow. Baltic Cognac Amber, triple drilled cabochon. One, two, three. Gorgeous quality. Look at, oh, sorry. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Three chances available. 39.95. Beautiful quality. Amazing size. This is such a big piece of, of um, amber. Under 20 pounds today. Two chances. One chance. Gone. Beep, <laughs> So this has got a little drill hole in it, but it, but you, you can't really see it, but I will show you where it is. Is it through the middle? No. Is it through the fattest part of the gem? No. I'll show you where it is. It's there. See? So it's for a pin setting. Um, very, very simple to make this into a pin set piece. Um, get your... Um, Oh, have I got the wrong piece? Nugget top drilled. Oh, no, hang on. Is it this one? No, the, sa the other one's the same. Oh, I don't know. Do you think it's this? Mm. Yeah, this is it, I think, lovely. Yeah. Price, $24.95, shoulda, woulda, coulda. How many do we have? Two, dos, but amigos. Here we go, all the way down. All the way down, my lovelies. Beautiful, 40 to 100 million years in age. Number nine, number nine. I always forget in Spanish, it's nine, um, nuevo or nueva. Because one is new and one is nine. I think it's nuevo, nuevo. Uno, Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nuevo o nueva? Nine. Nuevo. Nine. Diez. <laughs> anyway, who cares? I'm not going there anytime soon. Or anywhere else for that matter. Now, Baltic Multicolor um, um, Amber. Have you seen this sunset drop? What makes this a sunset drop? Color. <gasps> Ooh, baby, baby. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. Beautiful. 995. That's an absolute beauty. Hi Carol. <laughs> well done everyone. Oh yeah, we really love Amber. Here we go. Earring findings. Earring post. Pin set. Oh. Push it on. <gasps> and then what am I going to do with that? What am I going to put on that? Oh, baby, baby. Get your two part epoxy glue and stick. Stick it in. There you go, stick it in. There you go, beautiful. Off-white amber sterling silver stud earrings. 7 95 Amazing deal for you today. Well done, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Sorry, I just started to dribble then. I've got no idea why. Yeah. I think I'm thinking about um, my lunch today. I'm going to make lunch when I get home. Um, turmeric satay chicken with spinach mm. and some and some oh, are you seriously that is one of my absolute favorite jacket potato toppings 
jack and potato with coronation chicken. You've got to have cheese on there as well. Cheese, oh, nice. bit of rocket as well. Gobble it all down. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Wibble, wibble. <laughs> What's well, just chicken in peanut sauce, isn't it? It's absolutely delicious. Look at this. Talk about lovely. Karen in West Yorkshire. Hi, Carol, my favourite comedy presenter. You keep me cheery. I have to adjust my volume on the TV when you are on. There are many, many, many insults on, uh, in, that, in that text message, aren't there? The comedy presenter having to adjust your TV volume. I'm glad I cheer you up, though, lovely. Carol Surround. That's what I'm here for. Has that gone? Right. Treble clef! Treble clef! Oh, dear me. Oh, no, I'm just thinking about something that happened the other day. Okay, so here we go. Treble clef. I can't, I can't say it on air, unfortunately, but it was very, very funny. It was very, very funny. <laughs> Baltic cognac, amber, treble clef, sterling silver pendant. Beautiful, isn't it? Treble clef's a really recognisable symbol. Why? Who filmed that upside down? What complete Wally filmed that upside down? Who? What complete Wally filmed that upside down? Let's just take a second. Let's take a second to appreciate the appalling nature with which this has been filmed. Gorgeous. You thought it was somebody who works here because they are two shanks, two, two, <laughs> two planks, two planks short of a house. You mean as thick as two short planks or a couple of sandwiches I'll short, <laughs> a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. I know. Look at that. Lem lemon amber globe charm. Oh, baby. A little ray of sunshine. Is that the amber or me? <laughs> Look, uh, so you've got a lovely globe. Oh, gosh, I'm not allowed to show. I mean... <laughs> Tom is vicious this hour. Oh, yeah, we really love Amber. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> coin shapes here with your drill hole going from top to bottom or side to side, depending on which way you want it round. Gorgeous. Pop them on some, um, <laughs> pop them on some um, head pins. <laughs> Use them with your beautiful pearls that we bought you earlier on with the gorgeous Morganite. 1995. That's amazing. How many of these do we have, Tom? Five. You've got 10. You've got 10 in the pack. How many, how many do we have, lovely? Hazel, Julie, Madeline. Well done to you, my lovelies. Please, please, please check your baskets out. Oh, my word. Gorgeous, well done, Tony, eh? Hey, Tony, Tony. Acorn. Sterling, I am itching now. Now you've said that I'm itching a lot. I'm itching loads. I scratched my back with the ruler. Sorry, you weren't meant to see that, but yeah, I did. Oh no, hang on. I've got the wrong one here, Levy. I've got the wrong one. Sorry, it's here. Gift box. What's in the box? Here we go. So you've got your gorgeous. <laughs> what does it say on it? For you. 
surprise, look, there's surprise. Surprise, surprise in there. Gorgeous, well done, amazing. Foo Fighters, we got the Foo Fighters on the show. Gorgeous, well done. Sterling silver acorn charm. Look at these beautiful ambers in the shape of little acorns, aren't they gorgeous? From little acorns grow mighty oaks. That's what we need to remember when we're homeschooling our children. Ah, 21.95. The detail on this is absolutely tremendous. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. So, sorry, which number? You two are being, you two are the Chuckle Brothers today. You need to, you need some time out. Almost had to put Hattie in time out yesterday. She's six. You what? Yeah, you do get your bezels. Sorry, you sounded drunk then. I didn't know what you did. Get your bezels with them. Sterling silver bezel. There's the back. Okay, and then you've got your little cop. There we go. And pop your gemstone in there. Glue it in with a two-part epoxy resin. That's what I would probably use. You've got a cognac. Cognac. You have the cherry. And you also have the beautiful lemon. Go, oh, look at that. Oh, look at the sterling silver. Look at what it does. It just brightens. The, um, the back of that gorgeous amber, doesn't it? Amazing. £18.95 for all three of them, Michael. How brilliant is that? That's so cool. It's great, isn't it? And you get the bezels as well with them, which is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, they'll, they'll come outside the bezels, but, oh, hang on. Well, maybe not, because they're not coming out now. Oh, dear. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Um, yeah, but there we go. There you go, lovely. Uh, so eighteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Well done, fantastic. Right, they're gonna go. Oh yeah, here we go. Hi everybody, love amber. So, gorgeous amber. What would you describe these as? Flowers? No. Crosses? Yeah. It's almost like an uh, um, an Elizabethan knot garden. It's like what, Ollie? Yeah, you're absolutely right. It is like the lead work in a Tudor window, isn't it? The window of a Tudor country retreat. Uh, gorgeous. Uh, so you've got your Baltic cognac amber here. 32 95 should be a price. And you've got sterling silver spaces going all the way around here as well. Beautiful lead work. Absolutely top quality lead work. All the way down, 18 95 There you are, my lovelies. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Well done. That, that one's going to sell out. Well done. Yeah, I know. The sense of space is amazing. Here we go. Baltic earthy amber. This is amazing. Yeah, I agree. Isn't it amazing? Look at that. I've got this incredible depth and interest that oh 20 20 20 20 20 20 so your birthday's next tuesday michael how are you feeling about it really fine thanks yeah well no not, are, are you excited well usually i like to plan something nice well you are you are having a barbecue with your neighbors uh, yeah of course but uh, i like to i don't know go out and have a few drinks and have a dance but you can't I'm, I'm, that's what i'm saying I can't do it for my birthday either. I have a lot less presents as well. Hmm? I have a lot less presents as well. Oh, dear me. £82.95. pence. Beautiful sources of amber here with your beautiful sterling silver spaces in there as well. Gorgeous. 28 oh, You've just turned those numbers around. That's amazing. Thank you very much, Tom. Thomas, Thomas. Thank you very much. Well done, my lovely. Did you get him? Did you get him with the coat, uh, with the coat stand? <laughs> Maple leaves. Ooh. Maple syrup. Does anyone know? Can anyone answer this question for me? Because I don't know the answer. I don't 
I don't know. And I'm sure if I Googled it, or, sorry, or went on a search engine on a computer and found it, then I could. But why is Ask Jeeves? Who asked Jeeves anything? Ask, ask like Bing, it. what? Um, what? What is... Why is maple syrup so expensive? Is it the process of it being made? Is it the production? Why is it so expensive? Why is maple syrup so expensive? Let me know. Saffron's expensive. Saffron's very rare, isn't it? And it's labour intensive as well. It's very labour intensive. You have to. It's a stamen, isn't it? It's a stamen from a flower. It has to be picked. Um, so maybe that's the same for maple syrup. I don't know, but I love I love maple syrup, but it's so expensive. Don't pick maple syrup because your fingers get sticky. Oh, I know you don't pick it, but I'm. There's no need to be rude. Right, we had these on the show about a month ago. Beginning of lockdown, actually. Are we week five now into lockdown? Are week five or week six? I think we're week six. I think we're week six. I think we are. Baltic cognac, amber, hexagon B connect. I love it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, stunning. Oh, look at that gorgeous colour. Oh, travelling across the beautiful amber. Isn't it beautiful? Really, really glassy. Um... Beautiful. You've got the uh, Juffa, uh, the ju, <laughs> guff, guffa Jello. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm talking phonetically. The G for Jello. That's what happens when you have a four year old and a six year old. My sister, spelling her name on the phone, this is a while ago now. Sally. Sorry, can you repeat that? Sally. Sorry, can you spell that? So, uh, look, look, yeah. She's got seven L's in her name, in her first name and surname, and middle name. Seven L's. She's from Wales. No, no, she's not from Wales. <laughs> la 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 la. Uh, Baltic multicolour amber five more rounds. You what? Oh gosh. 79.95. Amazing. Brilliant. Incredible. 79.95. Are you ready? Catherine, Janice, Madeline, Collector, well done. Woo! Yeah! Here we go. Got a globe. Not in if I could. Here we go. Beautiful globe. It turns round. Oh my gosh. How many of these do we have? You're kidding me. Two? <laughs> Beautiful globe. This is gorgeous. Oh my word, it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Ready? 19 pounds. How is that even how is that even close to 19.95? That is so gorgeous. I love it. These are crazy, 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 crazy prices. Yes, they're crazy, 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 crazy prices. Here we go. Oh, Michael. The warmth, the colour, the wolf. Michael J. Wolf, give me a noise for this pendant, for this charm, for this connector. Umbra! Umbra! Umbra, umbra, stick it up your umbra. So, Baltic Cognac Amber Wolf Connector. It's gorgeous. This is one of the biggest selling pieces of amber we have ever, ever, ever had. We love it. Michael loves it. Michael launched it because his surname is Wolf Boy. He commissioned it. Seventeen ninety-five. How many do we have? Four. Hazel, Madeline, that's going to go, my lovelies. Davinia, well done to you, my lovely. The Kentish Lash. Why not? Nice. Right, well, number 26. Okay, here we go. Lovely. <gasps> oh, oh, these. Listen to them. They sound good. Do you even need to see them? That sounds good, doesn't it? You don't need to see them, do you? Let's have a look at them anyway. Puffy coins, they're drilled, they're beautiful, I love them. Lovely, lovely shape, lovely size, lovely. I mean, look at the, look at the amount you're getting. <gasps> baby, baby. All the way down, here we go. Seven available, should be 79.95, but forget that, we're going to go down. Because we love you, because we can. These are last in stock, here we go. 
They're so bulbous, aren't they? Ooh. Gorgeous, aren't they? £39.95. Well done, my lovelies. So many people getting involved. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 Get involved on our website, jeremaker.com. Well done to Kim, Madeline, Collector, Hazel. Loads of similar names coming through. Great to see. Well done, my loves. Loads coming up on the mid-show today, by the way. You've got presenter Lucy with you. I know. They've got sterling silver. They've got lovely gemstones. They've got lovely hematite. They've got checkmate beads. All of the above. Is it a cabochon? Here we go. Cabochon. Cabochon. Cabochon, cabochon, cabochon. There you are, my lovelies. 15 mil Baltic cognac amber cabochon. 8.95. That's amazing. Do you know what I would put this with, Michael? Well, Your jadeite from earlier on. Yes. Wouldn't that be amazing? Really? Brand new love. Oh, it's yeah, a brand new love. Brand new love. Oh, it's a brand new love. Brand new love. Brand new love. Ba da ba da ba da ba. Four ninety five. There we go. What were you doing with your ears then, Michael? Very very odd. I don't know actually. Uh, Four ninety five for your gorgeous Baltic cognac amber fifteen mil round. Hazel straight in. Madeline straight in. Lots of amber collectors coming through today. I'm really loving all this. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous at just four pounds and ninety five pence. Well done. What a great opportunity. Georgie, Verena, well done to you in Hampshire. Well done, my darlings. Do check your baskets out. Well done, lovelies. Oh, no, that's about to fall off. Let's not do that. 37. Oh, you little fighter. Look at this. Oh, gosh, look, it's drilled. Wowzers, trousers. Look at this. Bad boy, rough chunk. <laughs> a rough chunk. Cool, that sounds like Ray Winston. Oh, rough chunk. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, going through your rough chunk, you've got a drill hole. So, it's drilled through the middle of your rough chunk from top to bottom or side to side. Love this. Wouldn't that be lovely in a bracelet? Or as a big, beautiful pendant. Oh, that's how I want to wear my rough chunk. Gorgeous. Why not? Oh, 1990. Look at that as a rough chunk. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a rough chunk. Rough chunk. Look at it. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that is 40 to 100 million years in age. Aren't we lucky to have it? And the great thing about your amber it's all from our amazing amber dealers over in Poland. Fantastic company called Jello. And it's all verified as genuine Baltic um, amber. Amber is a very, very easy gemstone to fake. It's a very easy gemstone to um, imitate. This is the real deal. All of it is tested in an independent laboratory. I love it. Look at this gorgeous colors here. Lemon, cognac, and green. Beautiful. For kind of um, woodland inspired piece. You've got a loop on either end, which of course means you can wear it as a gorgeous connector. But I, I love this kind of direct inspiration the design is, um, the design has, what well, the design has from whence it came. So, you know, a really, really gorgeous natural uh, woodland inspired design, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. $7.95, what a lovely piece. Great opportunity for you today. Well done, everybody. Beautiful. Set into your 95 stunning silver. There's your little loopy on the other end as well. Gorgeous quality. Yeah, made lovely earrings. Thank you for that uh, little idea there, uh, Tom. Right. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, this is lovely. Square cross. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But it's basically a cross made up of squares of amber. They're beautiful. Yeah, diamonds. Frown in Greater London. Thanks for the energy today, team. Much appreciated. That's my pleasure. That's our pleasure. But that's what we're here for, darling. Don't forget the meteor shower tonight. Yes, yeah, so what time? About 10 o'clock? Apparently, you could see all the satellites last night. You could see all the Elon Musk satellites, like a, like a, a procession of juggernauts coming across the sky, apparently. So tonight, I think, is going to be the, the showdown, isn't it? Oh, tonight and tomorrow night, possibly. Yeah, 
perfect. About 10 o'clock, go outside. Obviously, go outside in, um, oh, no, it's not Thursday today. It's Tuesday. Um, yeah, Thursday, clap your NHS. Sorry, I keep forgetting what, the, what day of the week it is. Um, so it's Tuesday today. Right, we're, yeah, anyway. Uh, I was wondering if we were going to do this. My favourite piece of amber ever. Owl amber pendant. Do you know when you hear a hoo hoo? That's two owls apparently making that noise. One going hoo and the other one going hoo. I didn't, I didn't realise that. I think it was a lovely a jewel maker viewer who made me aware of that. Anyway, this is um, Albert. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, it's a lovely uh, owl. I thought his name was Oliver. Hmm? Oliver. Yeah. No, no, no. This is Albert. Olivia. Olivia. Uh, so for £19.95, pence, amazing. Where is that little amber piece that we've just done? Have him sitting there. <gasps> Make a little scene. Oh, would you like that, Albert? Oh, I'd love that. Yeah, it'd be amazing. See? Gorgeous. Well done. Amazing show. Thank you very much for joining us. Lucy is here after the break. I'm next with you on Friday, bringing you concrete, bringing you polymer clay, bringing you loads of great deals. <laughs> uh, Lucy's going to be with you after the break, taking you through the mid-show. Um, it's going to be brilliant. So they've got loads of stuff coming up. They've got uh, beautiful uh, 50 nos you've got delicas, you've got pearls, you've got lavender amethyst by the look of it, you've got Zambian amethyst, you've got hematite, you've got checkmate beads, you've got prey nights, you've got rose quartz, you've got a bit of everything. Lovely, lovely kits coming up as well. Genuinely mean this. Thank you very much for all your support. It's wonderful to have your company. Uh, I genuinely, genuinely mean that in these kind of weird, weird, weird times. You are wonderful. So thank you very much for all of your work as well. Thank you very much, lovely Michael. It's been awesome working with you today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your lovely mystery box, which seems like about 10 hours ago. Thank you to Tom. Thank you to Neary. Thank you to lovely Ollie. I'll see you on Friday. Tune in for the mid show. <laughs>